Uh, hello, this is Kodak. And I just kind of want to give a rundown of uh, the PlayStation Store games right now and how I feel about PlayStation VR. Um, uh, PlayStation VR, uh, it's great in some ways, but some ways it's not so great. Uh, but uh, before we get to it, I just want to show you some games that I played on the PlayStation Store. Um, today is July the 1st, 2017, so let's hop into it. Now, um, Hulu, um, I haven't played Hulu, but I heard, like, the, I guess, most of the movies, if you watch something you know, on Hulu, the movie is not VR, but, like, the place that you sit and watch the movies are kind of VR-like, so I haven't played that, so, Hulu. I used to have Netflix uh, before I went broke, so I mean I kind of understand what a video streaming service is, but but I think that's the VR function in Hulu. I'm not quite sure, and like I said, this is my opinion. So and you know it's but that's that's what I think it is. On Hulu, that's why I think I read that so well. Race the Sun is fun. Um, the VR mode is fun. You know it surrounds you. Um, it's fun. It's it's a great buy. If if you into you know if you you know you single player and you into like being the score or something. Um, basically, racist son is like if you YouTube or just Google you some uh, videos, you see what it is. It's basically you know you're trying to dodge stuff for as long as possible and get power ups to try to continue racing. And it's pretty fun. Uh, it's good if you got a lot of friends stuff over. I probably can share the controller and just you know do things like that, but it's a uh, it's a good game. Uh, I brought it. Um, I want to get volume because I like stealth, and from what I read about it, it's a stealth game. Uh, I want to get it, but I don't want to pay twenty bucks for it. Um, I don't know if you can shoot people and stuff like that. It's anything like the Metal Gear Solid uh, VR training. Thing, not virtual reality, but like the Metal Gear Solid, the original Metal Gear Solid, they had a mode on there way before PlayStation VR. They had a mode on there where I guess it's virtual reality training, quote unquote, but it's not actual VR. It's just basically snaking a stimulation and he's simulation, I'm sorry, and he's trying to, you know, say get to the goal without getting caught. So if it's something like that, you know, I like stealth games like that, so that's awesome. Media player must get if you download just some videos or have some videos you want to play. Um, 360 video. And this goes along with YouTube too. Uh, 360 video. Uh, if you got just some 360 vids and something like that, you play in a media player with your PlayStation VR. You know, as of right now, that's why I'm going. I'm just kind of review, reviewing PlayStation VR uh, stuff. So This is the PlayStation VR, VR section of the PlayStation Store. So that what that is. You got a uh, YouTube, which is great. Uh, if you got a PlayStation VR, you watch 360 videos on there. Um, have you have you never seen a 360 video video using a VR headset? I highly recommend you do so. Uh, yeah, if that's one of the things that if you do get a PlayStation VR for, get it for that and 3D video, 3D um, movies. If you got some 3D movies that you always want to watch. They're pretty cool. Uh, three movies kind of come off to me as a gimmick somewhat, but they do make the the movie look better. Uh, unless sometimes like it'll pop out at you. Like if you have like sparkle effects or you have something like uh, like snow or something like that, it does kind of give you that three D effect, but it's not so gimmicky. But it's like interesting. It's like oh, you you feel like you're actually there, even though. In the PlayStation VR headset, you know, it is kind of a 2D screen, but it's 3D at the same time. Basically saying that certain things in the 3D, it just makes the movie look better. I really don't know how to explain it that, you know, that well, but it makes the movie, 3D do make the movies a little better. So like I said, if you do get a PlayStation VR, get it for the games too, of course, but get it for the games, of course, that's always house. But the thing I like about PlayStation VR is that it has extra uh, things that you can use it for. 
you know, the 3D video, the movies. Uh, you don't need a TV. So for all you guys out there who got uh, who had a 3D, you know, 3D TV or something happened with a PlayStation VR, you don't even need a TV to play your games. You can just play games through the freaking headset. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, you can watch movies through the headset, which is awesome. You can just cut off the TV, basically, and just use everything. Now, PlayStation VR, like, some people won't tell you that it's, it's, uh, little rough edges. Like, like this, for example, wearing a headset sometimes can get uncomfortable. Uh, I know a lot of people who have a PlayStation VR, they, uh, who, who's really hyped about it, they won't mention, they probably won't mention some things about it, but, you know, I'm a realist. I'm going to tell you <laughs> some things. Like, for example, on PlayStation VR, like, the helmet sometimes. Like, uh, basically, I'm going to get my PlayStation VR right here. Basically, you have this, you know, you have the headset. And you have, you know, the front of the headset. And that kind of rests on your nose. Now, you have the thing that's... And I'm, I'm holding the PlayStation VR as I try to explain it. You have the... The thing that goes around your head, and I guess the VR headset is connected to that, and it kind of rests on your nose a little bit. So it's like sometimes they get hot, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it gets it's on your face, but you know what I'm saying? You have like light basically inside the PlayStation VR headset, inside any headset, I, I suppose. And sometimes it gets hot, you know, and sometimes like the lens will fog up. That's why some people might see some blurriness sometimes because it's sometimes it get a bit hot inside of the uh, the watch count. and then you know, yeah, it just gets hot, and sometimes it, it, it you don't feel comfortable wearing it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's sometimes it's like it, it gets heavy on your head sometimes. You know, your your body knows you have something on your head. Now, keep in mind, with nobody. Now, I just go ahead and say this or not. If you don't have a PlayStation VR, you got a PlayStation Four. Get a PlayStation VR. Right now, I'm just nitpicking at the moment. So please don't hinder your decision of getting a PlayStation VR. And I'm not saying get a PlayStation VR because I want, you know, people to play against and shit, some stuff like that. Some psycho fans would do that. <laughs> They'll tell you that. I'm telling you to get a PlayStation VR because it's, it's actually worth it. Uh, I never played Skyrim, but Skyrim VR is coming out. And some told me to hold off on Skyrim. So when, when Skyrim first came out, some told me to hold off. Don't get Skyrim. I didn't. And I'll see that finally paid off. So I'm so one of the lucky few who never played Skyrim. So uh, to play that in VR is going to be freaking awesome. Now I will mind the head, the, the heavy headset, and the sweating on my eyes and stuff. Stuff <laughs> I'll mind it for that. Uh, if I seem nervous, I am because I'm about to talk some shit. <laughs> Oops, I'm about to talk some stuff about PlayStation VR, and I know. People who has a PlayStation VR, they're gonna get really because the people that love their PlayStation VR. Now, there may be various reasons they might like their PlayStation VR, and the reason I say that because they got 360 videos of, of women, of ladies, and it looks real basically. So they might like their PlayStation VR for those reasons. Uh, if you get a PlayStation VR or you get any VR headset. You go to, I guess you go to the websites. I never been to those websites. Never tried to go to those websites. But you can go to websites and get a VR lap dance or VR or something else, and take it a bit further. And you know, from videos I see on YouTube, it looks amazing. I'm, I'm just gonna be real. Like I'm not a person that does it, but I was curious to see how would this look. <laughs> Come on, every guy is gonna go down and see it. it. Wow, wow, it's an experience, and it's like wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up it's messed up at the same time and you gotta imagine like who the, the girl who's doing it I mean I guess the body you, the person that's holding the camera you know he's a guy whatever you can see that but like it's gotta be feeling real awkward to just like you know titty rub a, a camera <laughs> it's gotta feel real awkward. so it's like I don't know I, I don't know it just felt awkward to me I mean once I got over it it was like okay that's kind of something to think about but some people like might they like i said some people might like they playstation VR for that i mean i play games i watch videos and stuff like that those videos are cool too but i don't you know that's not like that those are cool but i don't like that but uh i do i do enjoy watching those videos but i don't watch them all the time i'm not a purveyor so but some playstation vr owners 
might like it because of that. I don't. I don't. I do. Although I do watch one or two, but I don't watch it like go through like that. Psycho Mad Men and stuff like that. Anyway, like I said, just get a PlayStation VR. Right now, I'm just pointing off the little inconsistencies or little things that might you might notice when you're playing a PlayStation VR. Motion sickness. You might notice that. PlayStation VR. VR. You might notice that. Um, <laughs> there's some some other stuff, but uh, yeah. But uh. Yeah, like I said, just get a PlayStation VR. Those are the only things are cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's see. Collateral damage. I wanna, I wanna get that, but I might get it. it's two ninety nine, three dollars, something like that. I might get it. So you got a uh, Trackmania Turbo. I played that. I really brought that for GameStop. Uh, so it was nice. The VR mode is pretty cool. You get like. All the twin, all the tracks you get in VR, and is it worth the sixteen dollars? It wasn't worth the thirty to me, in my opinion. It wasn't worth the thirty dollars when I first got it, because first of all, I thought you race against other people, and you don't. Basically, it's like you're doing stunts and you're trying to beat the score. You know, saying so you get a bronze at this time or to sieve on this top like that but the you know and the difference is in vr you can play it in vr which is freaking sick because like yo your car goes like the roller coaster like kind of loops and all sorts of things you know you at one point is i think one track um you kind of have to guide your car you're not you're not you know following your car in vr you're not inside your car in vr you're basically guiding your car like it's a rc car around a track and you're just watching it as you got it and try to beat the time, beat the score, and that's pretty awesome. Uh, is it is it worth getting? Uh, yeah, for sixteen ninety nine, if if you get a PlayStation VR and you download the VR um, add on, I don't know if that's I forgot if that's free or not. I think it was free. I went and took mine back because I played once you played it once I played it, it was a good game. And right now I'm thinking like maybe I should have kept it, but. I didn't keep it. I just traded in for something else. I think I. I mean, once you, in my opinion, once you've seen all of it, you kind of, you know, you kind of seen all of it. You know, in my opinion. But now looking back, sometimes I do want to pop it back in and just, you know, once or twice go back on the, on the tracks of VR. So yeah, it's a, it's a pickup. I'll say get that. Uh, with cat lateral damage, I never played that. And like I say, it's two. It's only three bucks, and the reviews for it are great. Uh, Let's go ahead and look at the reviews right quick. Uh, I mean, you know, like I say, uh, like people say, PlayStation VR make you play games that you would never play in VR. Like, I would never play a freaking kitty game, a game that you play as a cat in VR. But look at that, 622 ratings and, you know, four. It's only three bucks. So, I mean, that's, you know, the download's not that big. It's only... Pretty much a gigabyte, nine hundred sixty-seven megs. It's a good game, from what I what I've been hearing. Uh, you know, but and there I go right there the VR, the trial, the Turbo Trial VR uh, thing right there. I didn't see it. Like I'm going left to right, so I'm not really paying attention. But uh, talking about each one, you download the VR add-on and it's free. And yeah, you play like the tracks in um, VR. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I I probably get that. Uh, if if I was you, if I had a you know, PlayStation headset, um, we got Viva X Vivo. I haven't played it, but I mean, I've seen people review it. And I've seen people play it. Uh, I don't know. Like I say, you wouldn't. It's basically, I guess, you just type of small microbe. And you're going through different environments like a bloodstream and it looks i guess from what i looked on the screen i don't have it but from what i looked at you know people playing this stuff it looks it looks cool but the problem is like i'm a um uh, i'm a bit of a drummer fool. uh i hate scary shit like that so if a big ass uh white blood cell is coming behind me trying to eat me they'll scare the fuck out of me uh i'm sorry that, that i can't do that spiders things like that i uh no, i can't uh i tried it it just they still I can't do it. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute when I talk about Farpoint. Uh which is a great game, but you know, I have other issues with that. But 
for uh, five bucks. I mean, he's looking for scrap up games. And this, this is the part I'm gonna start getting into it about PlayStation VR. Another thing I have a PlayStation VR that like most of the games on here. One of my sole reasons making this really review slash rant, whatever you how you wanna call it, is that most of these games on here are, to me are like tech demos, and that's some people don't want to hear that. And I think that's one of the reasons they gotta sell here. They trying to scrap up as much money as possible to make you know positive on their PlayStation VR sales or what have you. I don't know, but they trying to, it, sound, it, it seems like a scheme. You know what I'm saying? It seems like, okay, and don't let me destroy, that destroy you from buying games on here. I don't hate to sound like a negative announcer, but it's just my opinion. Most of these games here, they, they're like tech demos almost to me. Like Bound. It was 10 bucks, but to me it was like almost a tech demo because it's everything, it is VR. Like everything's virtual reality, but you take control of the girl, you can play it on 2D actually as well. You don't need the VR headset, you can just play it like a regular game. But it's like click turning, and I don't know if you if you don't have a PlayStation VR, click turning is the worst. Uh it's nauseous. Smooth turning, if you have motion sickness, um, you might not, you know, like, you know, but uh if you click turning me, I don't have motion sickness, but click turning is ugh. I couldn't do it. Like you, what happens is with click turn. If you don't know, when you turn, it it phased and come back in quickly. Like foo 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 foo, and you turn foo foo, and it's like oh my god, and that's how you're gonna feel inside. You're like, oh my god, it's gonna stop. So it has this click turn thing on here, and it's this kind of camera thing where you get in close. It's just it it, it threw me off from the game playable bound. I didn't like it. <clears throat> I tried it. And then it, it seems like a tech demo. Basically, what I'm saying about that, the graphics was okay. It's a beautiful game, but it wasn't polished. I don't want to say polished. Like, you had a lot of, how can I say it? You see, like, how bound is spelled out in the pitch art of the game? You know, it's kind of pixelated. You know, and the, the style is the style is not pixelated. It's like smooth pixelated. It's Google, Google or YouTube use some videos on bound. It's people playing it. But I just, I didn't like it. It was, you know, the camera and... I didn't mind the graphics too much. The graphics actually, it's like I said, it's a beautiful game. It's just, to me, it was just... Ugh. It was pixelated and stuff. I, I didn't like it. Not pixelated as in graphic while like, looking back. It looked great. But it's just the, I guess the style of it. With the little, I don't know, it looked like an unfinished game to me. You know. Just, just generally speaking, it looked like an unfinished game. Although it's a good-looking game, it's just and what you do in Bound basically, you dance. I guess that kind of threw me off too. You dance to scare the boogeyman away. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. You gotta play the game and see it. And it's maybe that's just my like I said. All oh, this is my take on it. This is not set in stone for you hardcore people out there or you would have you. <clears throat> just what I'm saying is not set in stone. It's just basically me, basically me telling you uh, about the game. Uh, the reason I'm so nervous because people are gonna jump at me about talking about the, their favorite game. Cause a lot of people actually rated this game pretty high. And let's go look at it right quick. Uh, by the way, my internet connection is, is shitty. It's slow. Look at that. I didn't like it. It it has now. 846 ratings and it's four stars so a lot of people played this game a lot of people thought it was nice i didn't like it you know as you can see why i'm nervous because a lot of people gonna come and they you know to rate a game you actually have to go and you know click rate you know you had to click the rate game or whatever i didn't like it man uh i don't i don't play it no more it's a beautiful game don't get me wrong i'm not saying i just suck up to Possibly a thousand people are gonna come at him out to my neck behind it. I'm just saying it. It just it didn't appeal to me. Um, and it's just some of the issues when I had it with it. It's just the the camera thing was kind of confusing to me. I kept jumping off. Um, some people you you take control as a girl. Um, you know, and she dances and stuff like that. Like uh. Baller, uh, what you call it, ballerina, I guess, dancing, posing, things like that. She does those type of dances to scale away the black things that comes around, the pixelated black things and stuff like that. It's like, ugh. 
That's another thing I want to say about developers. Uh, bring some experiences, man. I mean, I'm I'm tired of playing games. I want to play some experiences now. That's why solely I got a PlayStation VR 4. I want to play some experiences. Uh, I'm tired of games. I'm tired of playing video games. You know what I'm saying? Quote, unquote, video games. Especially with PlayStation VR. I want an experience. I want to feel like something. I don't want to, you know, guide this person through per se. Like, I'm talking, I'm looking at Bounty at this one. I'm saying this. I want an experience. I get more into that uh, in a minute. But I want an experience. Uh, and I'm going to get to experience when I start talking about Neb- uh, Wave of Scott. Cause that, was a, that was a great experience for me. I liked that game. Nebulous. I want to play that. People have been saying it was stupid. Uh... People are saying, like, you know, you don't need, it's got a four and a half star rating. You don't need VR to even play this, which is probably true. I've seen some people play it. Probably true. You don't need people VR to actually play it, but it just looked kind of funny. It, my type of style of game I might play. So, uh, ha, Hasuni Miku, uh, Project Demon X. What I heard it on, on this game particularly, that it has a VR mode, not VR mode per se, like, you can't play the whole game in VR. That's from what I heard. But I heard it's like when you're designing your stage, on stage design or something like that, you can play VR more. It's, I don't know. I do have Hasini Miku Future Live, I think. I got that. That was a pretty cool game. Uh, tech demo, probably, but it was a good game, though. This game right here is not a tech demo, it's a full on game. Uh, it was Hasini Miku. Miku. <laughs> Uh, however you pronounce it. Basically, I guess it's like a time tempo game where you press the right button at the right time and stuff like that. I only seen a couple of videos of this particular game. Not Future Live, but Project Diva X, so that's what I think it is. But, yeah. Within, I don't, my, I don't know what's wrong with them. My Within doesn't work, so. Uh, within, basically, it's like a streaming service, I think. Something like that. I know made it past the screen that kept asking me for something. I never made it past it. It was free. So, yeah. Wayward Sky. Now, meet of the whole thing here that I wish that developers will make a RPG like Wayward Sky. Uh, you know, you fight monsters, demons. You got your move controllers. You can select your spells. Now, you can't do this in Wayward Sky. Let me just go and pause right there. I'm saying what I would want in Wayward Sky, basically, you got this girl to go find her father. They crash land on this floating, I don't know, factory or some shit. I don't know what, what you want to call it. But you, I, I guess you, you, it's like a point and click game, but it's in VR, basically. And like, it's a top, kind of top down-ish kind of thing. And you kind of point and click your way, but it's fun, though. Like, you pick up items and stuff. Sometimes you're going to live first-person view mode. And you control the crane. You take your move controller. You take your T-button at the back of the move controller. You grab stuff or push it, you know, like you operating the crane and stuff. It was actually fun. I liked that game. Uh, I wish they made more games like that. And uh, a bit... It was... It was fairly... It was entertaining. It was worth a buy. If I would say anybody, everybody get that. In my opinion, get Wayward Sky. I like the Wayward Sky. Wayward Sky was pretty awesome. Uh, and I wish they made more games like that. RPG, I wish they made an RPG in that fashion. Whereas, you know, I had to, you know, you have to, you know, select spells or commands like they do, 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 and they come right in front of your face and they go back down, sort of a top down view, like a Final, you know, Final Fantasy 7 ish kind of way or something like that. But it's in VR and it's fun and it's like, I can watch spells and action go right in front of my face. But yeah, Wayward Sky is pretty fun, though. I liked it. It wasn't, and some people might think it was boring and stuff. I actually was into it because I wanted to see what was next. She meets big robots and stuff like that. going to help out. Uh, it was pretty fun. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's worth the buy, in my opinion. Uh, Until Done, Rush of Blood. I haven't played it, but it's only seven bucks right now. Right now, I know they got this July, uh, July sale. What have you? Going on, they got the sale going on right now. As you can see, at first it was nineteen dollars, twenty dollars basically. 
So, yeah, everybody's saying get that. And I mean, the reviews for it is just everybody's saying, like, you know, go get the game. If you haven't played it, which I haven't. But if you haven't played this, go get it. Uh, look at that. The reviews for it is awesome. But, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't get it because it was a shooter game. And I'm tired of playing shooter games. Uh, I'm not a shooter FPS type of person. Um, I do have shooter games. I hate to be hands sound like a hypocrite. I brought Battlefield because I'm a huge fan of Battlefield. Uh, I didn't get Battlefield 1 because, I don't know. It's just like, <sighs> I think something else happened. I don't know why I didn't get Battlefield 1. But I ain't get it. Oh, yeah. I think I... Because I, I ain't want to... Maybe... I should have got Battlefield 1. I think, you know, going back to Real War 1, I'm like, uh, I like the Battlefield 4. That was pretty... And Battlefield 2, Bad Company, I like that game. So. But, yeah, it's another shooter. And shooter is in VR uh, great. They're good. It's just... I'm just tired of playing shooters. And as you can see, a PlayStation VR store has a lot of shooters on here. Valkyrie, Valkyrie, um, I actually brought this game, uh, these are just credits of vaults of caches, stuff like that, but I actually played the game, you know, the game is pretty awesome, uh, to the extent that I couldn't really go online, it, it was like the second board I got stuck, and I didn't know what the hell to do, and I took the game back, and I'm like, you know, I brought something else with it, you know, I traded it in for another game, but if you got good internet multiplayer, yeah, get Valkyrie. Uh, you like that game. That's that's pretty fun. It's just, I got to a certain point, I got stuck, and I didn't know what else to do, and I took it back. I'm like, whatever. I think that's just an add-on to Russia Blood. Tumblr VR. Now, they had this game, um, well, they had the demo, rather, on the PlayStation demo disc. Uh, get some swig of water real quick. I'm talking. Excuse me. <clears throat> But yeah, they had this game on the PlayStation demo disc. Uh, I mean, basically what you do in this game, basically you just stack up stuff. Stack and see like on the, the game cover art here. You just stack up stuff and try to make them not, you know, not a fight. You just do it in VR, basically. Uh, yeah, that's basically what you do. You just stack them on top of each other. And... Uh, you know, hope they don't fall from what I from what I know of. But that's what you did in the, uh, in the demo disc. Is it worth the four bucks here? Man, yeah. like I, if I was you, I'd probably get all these games. If you ever get a PlayStation VR during the sale, I'd probably get this one during the sale. I wouldn't pay ten bucks for this game. I'll, and this game is probably just about right. I would pay about about four or five dollars for this game. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't pay ten bucks for this game though. And that's why it's probably was just ten dollars. And and that's another thing. All the games that's like ten dollars, this one we hit a flat drop. Any game on here like ten dollars, more than likely it's more just more number to tech demo. That's what you're gonna feel like after you get the game. On some of these games, you're gonna feel like, man, it was just a little tech demo. That's all this shit was. It wasn't a real game. It wasn't something all these ten dollar games are pretty much a tech demo. I'm just sorry to call it what it is. It's just that's how I felt about it. I felt like I got robbed. I'm like, man, this is number ten, though. This is not really a game. Come on, stacking stuff on top of each other to get to a certain goal or something like that. That's a tech demo. This just shit should be in like an E3 booth or something. This shit shouldn't be like on your on your on your store. This is ridiculous. So let's see. Uh, PlayStation VR room. That is a game that you need to get. I think it's free. I don't know if it was free or not. I think it was free. Anyway, if you got a PlayStation VR, make sure you get that. That's a, that's actually because they got like multiple. You get to play as the Sony robots. I don't know what you want to call them, the iRobots, something like that. You get to play those. And you get to play multiple games. Like one game, you get to play Ghostbusters. Like, And your controller transform. Like you get to hold your controller up. This in VR now. Uh, you get to hold your controller up and it transforms while you hold your controller and it's so fun. Like, it's it's worth to get. Uh, if you haven't played it, play it. Download it's free. Flopper. I mean, here a lot of people playing back there. Please, yeah, please get that. That's fun. Flopper. Um, a lot of people have been like it has high reviews. I didn't like it. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you some of the reasons I didn't like it. 
uh, some reason, you know, 600 ratings, all that. I didn't like it. As you can see, this game is not on sale, so it must be good. And and that's the, kind of the thing is, it's I didn't play it all the way through. I played a demo disc version of it, <clears throat> and um, honestly, <clears throat> honestly, I didn't like it, man. It just I don't know. But you know, don't let my opinion stop you from getting the game. If you watch a couple of videos and you see if you like it, then get it. Water. But yeah, I didn't like it, <clears throat> so <laughs> therefore I didn't get it. But like like I said, a lot of people been reviewing it, saying it's pretty good. So <laughs> like I said, I didn't get it. Uh, which I should have got it. I should have, but I ain't spend, like spend. I don't broke. I'm broke. I don't have twenty dollars to spend just on a game like that. So I, I mean, I wouldn't know uh, to get it. Or not. I just. Uh, and I played on demo disc and I didn't really like it. At first it was alright, then the novelty just kind of rolled off. And I, I'm guessing they got more stages, but uh, it just, it just, I didn't like it. <clears throat> Let's see here. We have Super Stardust VR add-on, and Super Stardust. Um, for what I know, to start Super Stardust on here it has an extra VR mode. Like you can play Super Stardust in VR, but not like first person VR basically. It's just, you know, when stuff explodes, it kinda of pop out at you a little bit and stuff like that. And you surround it in the world and stuff like that. Which is great. I'm a huge fan of Super Stardust. I had to put on PlayStation 3. The VR head on add ons, I guess it's just the add on for the things that's popping out at you and things like that. I didn't get it because I want cause they showed out that new VR mode and I didn't know if it was worth it or not. And I didn't really feel like playing the same game I already played on PlayStation 3. Um, it's one of these games, if you never played Super Stardust, it's one of the games you gotta kind of be focused because a lot of stuff be going on, on on the globe that you're surrounding, and it's fun. It's just because you gotta be focused. I didn't get it because um, I already played it. So, and it was kind of rough. Super Stardust is a game that you gotta be focused. And, you know, I'm looking for some VR games. I, I don't want focused in VR somewhat to agree like on a on an extent as Super Stardust. Uh but don't let don't let that you know that's just me. Is it a game you know play Super Stardust and you got a place in VR play PlayStation VR then get it. Uh, they have this other first person shooter but I only heard that you only stay on one planet and you know that's it and I, I think it was not as long as I thought it was gonna be so I didn't pick it up and play like, yeah. Plus I already played on PlayStation 3, the regular Super Stardust. I don't think ah. uh Hypercube. Um I played a demo. Basically it's like a Tetris on um it's like VR basically VR Tetris in a, in a sense but not in a sense. It's more like you have to stack, you get cubes, and once you go through this wall, boing, it adds another cube to you, and, and then the wall forms another shape. And ding, and then it adds another cube to your whole collection of cubes, and the wall forms another shape. And if you don't form the right shape with the cubes, you, you lose. And then 30 bucks, as you see, this is not on sale. So it's like, must be a good game. And let's look at the ratings. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, four stars. 100 T people gave it four stars, and the download is small, so basically it's a simple game. But it's a, it's all right, fun. Is it worth thirty dollars? I don't know. See, that's what I'm saying about this PlayStation stuff. They trying to nickel and dime you, man. Like a thirty dollar game for that? And all you're doing just forming cubes, and the download is number two hundred twenty three megs. I mean, it's a pretty simple game. It's just why thirty dollars for that? I'm not paying thirty dollars for that. PlayStation VR Worlds. Um, I got this first when I first bought my PlayStation VR. And like another thing, I was just want to remind everybody: you don't need a TV to even play PlayStation VR, which is which is which is just awesome. I can plug my PlayStation VR right now, cut off my TV, and just play games through my headset. That's pretty awesome. So that's like a good reason, if not the reason. <laughs> Sometimes I'd be sitting in a dark room just 
watching videos, watching movies and stuff. I don't need a TV. You just look at the movies through your headset. It's pretty awesome. And the way the, the movies are, uh, are set up, uh, then I know that sounds kind of freaky sitting in your room, you know what I'm saying, butt-ass naked, just, I don't, I don't butt-ass naked. But basically, just sitting up, you know what I'm saying, just watching the movie and stuff, it's, I think it's kind of weird, but no. I actually, sometimes I just cut off the lights and just... Because you mean on PlayStation, I don't need a light on. Actually, the light sometimes, see, that's another thing. The light sometimes seep through your PlayStation headset and it gives off the immersion. Like, you'd be immersed in the game because you'd be in VR. But then you'll notice at the bottom, you know, and there's another thing I want to say. Uh, I wish PlayStation VR would make the headset a bit bigger, I guess. Uh, they need to make the, the screen, not the screen, but the, what you have the your screen a bit wider so you could get fully immersed like it's i don't know I, I don't have another headset a vr headset like a vive or oculus anything like that but they need to make it a bit bigger so you can just get up all the light so you you be fully immersed now not to say the immersion is not bad it's just sometimes i give it a seven out of ten for immersion aka light seeping through and you like oh wait i'm in my room i'm not in vr i'm in my room you know, your brain recognizes that because you see a little light. So sometimes you, I cut off all the lights and stuff. So make sure I have a pitch black and only folks, you know. But sometimes you get that. You know, and you, you hate to get unimmersed. Unimmersed. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. You hate, to, you hate for that to happen because you be yelling into the game. Next thing you know, you kind of look down and you look down and you're like, oh, shit, that's light. <laughs> I'm in my room. But, uh, yeah, PlayStation VR Worlds, get that. That's a much must get. Get that game. Um, get it. Get it. <laughs> get it. Uh, get that game. And if you want me to go into further detail, uh, you know, London World's Web, go with that London Heist. Uh, the only bag, only game that's kind of yeah on that to me is that uh, Luge. Game or luge game when you know you're going downhill on a luge l u g e you're going on downhill on one of those the game is kind of tech demo ish you know what I'm saying unfinished almost in a way you know because it's not as smooth it's not as polished as some of the other content that's on the PlayStation World's disc so that's just my opinion there. so but yeah must get get that get that. Even though I just said about the lose game, they have like what three or four other games on there, and they're they're wonderful. They're they're totally block out the little lose game. The new game ain't that bad. It's just something I might go play it. Actually, play it after I get to commentating this. But yeah, um, we have I've been talking for thirty eight minutes. We have Little Star VR. Uh, you can get that. That's Cool. If you have to place this headset, some of you might want to invest in. Um, get that. That's like uh, show you little videos and stuff. Some of these same videos you find on YouTube, though. So if you have the YouTube app for the PlayStation and you got the VR headset add-on, the download it, the update, what have you, then uh, but yeah, get the little star if you got that. It's, it's sort of kind of worth it. You can also download videos, but you have to be connected to the internet to download. I mean, you have to be connected down, but to watch the download the video, um, you have to be connected to the internet, which is, uh, I guess. Uh, demo disc, get the demo disc. It's pretty much going to show you all the games here, most of the games, except for like this game. But that game, uh, it just it's it's a it's a nice introduction to the PlayStation uh, PlayStation. VR um, lineup, nice little introduction. But uh, that's back in October, so that's like nine months ago, probably nine, ten months ago. But still, though, it's free, so I get it. Invasion's free. I haven't like this movie is actually on the PlayStation demo disc, so you know, I guess not the whole movie, but some of it. To, for me, it's it's on there, but it's like I said, Invasion's a free download. You can I think you can watch this on YouTube, on the YouTube app. 
and the thing about the YouTube app, yes, you can watch 3D, 360 videos, basically virtual reality videos. You can watch it all on YouTube, and that's a virtual reality um, video there. Why, why it says app, I don't know why, but okay. I never played her, uh, Hustle Kings. Um, never played it, so I can't get a commentary from that. Um, but I guess it's a pool game or something. Nah, I don't know. It's, it's eight bucks, so it must have been. I don't know. Let's look at the reviews and see. <laughs> Talking 40 minutes. Right now it's three out of <clears throat> three out of five. The only 20 reviews. So yeah. I don't know. Harmonics, music, VR. Never played it. I don't know. I don't have much music. Heard they had like a paint mode or something on that. Uh, on here like that so we'll see I mean I have to download it and see but it's not on sale so it might be good and they go to Valkyrie that's a good game um, I hate to say it's a good game I guess if you have internet okay you might be saying well you know you have internet uh, I have HughesNet basically it's a shitty uh, <laughs> shitty internet um, uh, it's not unlimited internet. It's not unlimited, uh, which kind of, and plus, you know, I'm out here in the boondocks, so it's like, not real good. And plus it's, it's, it, my, my internet has data limit, so I only can use certain amount of internet. Like, another thing my internet, I hate to get them up, but I can't download the whole game in one fell swoop. I have to download it and then wait till my internet comes back on once I reach my data limit. Wait till it comes back on and download it again. Finish downloading, and it's like uh, so big games like ten gigabytes or forty. If you had to download, take them multiple days. And then other people right here need to use the internet too. So it's it's just my wild. But I heard this game was bad. That's why I heard I want to get it, but I heard they flubbed up. Let's look at the reviews right quick. Yeah. Three and a half, three and a half stars, seven to six ratings. I heard they flubbed that the game. I don't know. I haven't played it, and I'm scared to play it. I, I'm scared to spend twenty dollars on it, and it's not what's up. Illuminate is a nice movie. It's free, I think. So if you just want to watch a nice little VR movie, cartoon VR movie. Uh, yeah. Haven't played that. I heard it got a VR, some type of VR uh, section to it. Uh, blood ties and something like that. I haven't played it. I don't know much about it to extend, but I haven't played it. Don't really know what that is. Uh, I haven't played it. I think it's some type of Zodiac Sun reading or some, some stuff like that. Something. I don't know. I haven't played it. I have to look at a review for that one. Um, Batman Arkham VR. Get that game. I have Actually, that's the first game I got when I picked up my PlayStation VR headset from Best Buy. I brought that game too. Must get get that game because here's the point where I'm going to get into about experiences. Now it's an experience meaning it has gameplay elements but you feel like Batman. Like you feel like Batman. You get to put on the cowl. You get to look at yourself in the mirror as you put on the cowl his head, his head, his his watch comb, his, his mask, what have you. You get to do all of that, you know what I'm saying? And it is click, point and click, but you feel like Batman. You feel like him. You're like, oh, man, this is cool. I got my boomerang. I can look at my arms. See, the head, and when you, <clears throat> for none VR owners, when you hold your arm on and stuff like that with the move control, you can turn and twist your arm just like in real life and it looks just like in real life basically you know with the same graphics it just looks with the playstation graphics mixed with the you know the turning and stuff it looks real and your brain won't be able to sometimes tell the difference I'm not saying the difference like i actually believe that was freaking batman of course not but it's like you know it's pretty awesome and you need to get a place in the vr headset <laughs> When I put on the cowl and stuff like that, and when I talk to Alfred, he looked like a real person, like right there. You know, it's like, wow, that's freaking awesome. 
we never seen that before, you know, but yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, musket, that is a must-have. Let's look at the range for that. That's a must-have, uh, in my opinion. <clears throat> that's a must-have. Yeah, that's a must-have right there. Not gonna lie to you. I would give it a thumbs up, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's a must have. I'm sorry. That's a must have. Uh, Brookhaven Experiment. I heard a lot of people talking about that. It's a good game. I don't have an aim controller. I have four point, but I slipped up. I think I got four point without the headset, without the aim controller, and I messed up. And I thought, you know, I thought you can buy the the, the aim controller separately. From what I've been hearing, you got to get it with the game. So I'm like, oh shit. And plus it was eighty dollars. I'm like, what? Do the controller cost eighty dollars, or do four point? How this works? I didn't know exactly how it worked, so I just picked up four point, and I, that's my one of my biggest regrets. I should have got the end controller with the game, which was eighty bucks. The whole thing was eighty bucks. The four point and the end controller bundled together cost eighty dollars, and I should have got it instead of just getting it regularly out. I slipped up. So that sucks. And the reason I bring that up because I heard they. Bookhaven experiment is supposed to be getting the aim support and the aim controller. And I wanted to get Brookhaven at one point, but I didn't really know what it was. Then I had to go online and look at some reviews and stuff. And now I, I regret not getting the aim controller because now I heard they coming out with that. Basically, you shoot against hordes of monsters and stuff like that. And I know I mentioned before, like, you know, I hate shooters, but if you, you know, if it's fun, if it's archaic, you know what I'm saying, it's arcade, arcade-like, you know, yeah, heck yeah, that's fine, I'm just getting tired of, you know, so many shooters, and we're gonna get to some, so that's a shooter, but I believe it's fun, you're fighting basically zombies and monsters and things like that, why the home, I want to get that, but I need to look at some videos first before I get it, war tunes, um, we'll see about that, I haven't get it, but I haven't brought it, or downloaded it, rather it's free. I want to get this because it's in because I, it's a story and it's VR. But what I heard about it is, and uh, Brian Paulson said this is you only going to play it once. It's only a one time playthrough. But right now it's only 12 bucks. I have to download this before the sale is over. I'm sorry. It's only 12 bucks. And I really want to play this game. And I want to see what it's like. Because uh, I like VR. I like VR with humans. Like, you know, AI and stuff. If they made more games with AI humans instead of... And as you can see, let me go back. You can see most of these games here. It's just, you don't really have no human companions. Like, like AI companions next to you. Like, I don't know about Russian Blood. That's cool. But Haisune Miku. Uh, we'll get to that in the middle with the future life. But most of these games, you don't have, like, the... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You don't have like a human, all these are like puzzle games, cartoonish games, and stuff like that. You don't have the human element. Like, yeah, you had a human element. That, that's, that's a game you do have the human element. The computer AI is next to you. Well, like, that's I like games like that. It's humans. I want to look at human. Like, oh, that's neat. No, oh, that's neat. I want games like that. Like loading human. It's like human or stuff like that. It had people around you. You know, AI people, of course, but it just, you can. That's another thing. When you get in VR, if you don't have a VR headset, when you get in VR, you're gonna start. You're not gonna really play the game. <laughs> you're gonna start exploring like a mud. That's why I'm so angry. I can't wait to like Skyrim. I, I don't know shit about Skyrim. I don't know. All I know is the Fool's Door Rod. People talking about Fool's Door Rod. You see a couple of funny ass videos on that. But you know, I never went beyond the pillar. I never be, went went beyond that. So when I first seen, you know, when I seen loading human, like oh shoot, humans people so i get to observe people and look at them and it felt real you know what I'm saying? it felt like oh man I, you know i feel like a real person i had a, actually had a life here or something stuff like that it just felt real like all these people like oh you get to i played that game i actually brought that game oh i get to drive a mech but it's it's like i don't know it's like a football league or something it's like uh and that game you should definitely get uh, rest, but you know, all these I need some human element or something around me. I need to experience, dude. I don't, I don't try to fight and playing cartoons and stuff, uh, something like that. Give me some human elements around me, and that's why I want to get a simile because it's humans, and it just you know it, it feels right, you know. 
but I want to get that. But I heard that, you know, once again, Brian Paulson said that you only can play this, you know, you play it one time. Once you play it, that's it. And I'm so glad I got a sale because that's what I'm doing. I'm going to download the assembly, you know, as soon as I get my internet. <laughs> um, I don't have internet right now, so I won't play some stuff. But I'm saying, I'm going to download this basically. Uh, before the sale ends, because I want I want to get that, because uh, it has the human element, but I want to really play it. You know, I want to see what that's about. This game, <sighs> moving on to rigs, mechanical, uh, mechanized, comic lead, what have you, whatever. Uh, it was fun at first, but then you know it was like you get to play. Yeah, let's look at the rigs. You get to play. As this person inside of a big mix, and it's something akin to like you're playing football almost, but in some some things you you have death death match. You're not playing football. You it's death match, and then they got a mode on there you play football, but it's like a league. You know what I'm saying? And it's how should I explain? Maybe I explain it wrong. Basically, yeah, you inside a mix and the graphics are wonderful. I can say about VR graphics, games that you would never play. But you would never play. Like, I'd never be playing Wayward Sky in freaking VR. I stay away from those games. I played in VR. I'm like, oh, man, this is cute, man. This is awesome. I get the whole stuff. I get this throw. I'm talking about Wayward Sky. And, you know, games like this, I don't know if I would have touched it. But Rigs, I don't know if I really would have touched Rigs. But uh, what can I say about Rigs? Rigs, man, I don't know. Some people liked it. I liked it at first, then it just the novelty kind of wore off. It's like, oh, I'm shooting the same things, and <sighs> kind of what I recommend is what I recommend is it's twenty bucks right now. Is it worth twenty dollars? Yeah, it's worth twenty dollars. Was it worth the fifty dollars that I paid? No, it wasn't worth the fifty dollars. Is it worth the twenty dollars? And I know it's about this sale. It's just being crooked, but I know about this. All these games that's worth the money they they should have been charging at first. They being priced at that amount. Like, I would actually buy rigs at $20. If it came out brand smack new and I had played it and then I had the decision to buy it, I would buy rigs at $20. I wouldn't buy it for $50. It's not a $50 game to me. Because basically, it's just a loop. How big is this game? 18 gigs? Not bad. But I'm saying, I, was, I thought it was shit. I thought it was like, I was, you know, I didn't go through all the modes, I guess. But I went through a majority of them. I had the game for like... I don't know, about a month, month and a half, and I played it almost every other day or something like that. So, yeah, I played the game. <clears throat> but, wow. You know, but it's it, it just, you know, I just it didn't my, took my fancy. Basically, you're playing, um, you're playing in a mech suit, going around and trying to score against three. It's going to be three of y'all and going to be three on the other team. I don't know. I think it has online support. I'm not quite sure. Check and see right quick. Uh, doesn't say. I don't know if it's online or not. Doesn't really say. Unless I'm just looking over it, I don't see it. Yeah. Basically, you're playing the mech suit, just like you see the thing here. Playing the mech suit is going to be three of y'all and three computer, three on the computer side. And basically, one it's going to be like a, a league. And the presentation is tight. You know, you come out of your little hole and stuff, and dun, 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 the music playing like you're in an actual football game. But the thing is, like you, sometimes on one, some you might be playing death match this this round, and then the next round you might be playing. I mean, team death match on this round. Then the next round you might be playing like a football type of thing where you have a football, you have to slam dunk it. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, yeah, you're playing hoops. Oh yeah, you have the, and you can pass it, but you know what I'm saying you gotta put it through the hole, and whoever put whoever team put it through the hole first, with the thing it wins. Or you might have the the football one, which you carry a football and if somebody bump into you real hard a shooter destroy you whatever and they take the football and they run with you you get responded back I just got tired of it excuse me I gotta drink some water but I just got tired of it when you did that song and dance for a long long time like that you just kinda get tired of it you be like okay you know this 
the first for the first two weeks, you're gonna be you're gonna like it. You're gonna like, oh, awesome. Then out there, you played a couple of leagues and like, okay, this is boring. <laughs> I know what it is. It's boring. Was it hard? It was challenging. You know, he has some unfair moments. He has a fair moment, thing like that. But yeah, it's worth twenty bucks. To me, it's worth fifteen. <laughs> but yeah, and like I just want to point out some of these games that that similarly, I would have paid. I would if I looked at the review for it. I would have paid twenty dollars for the assembly, but yeah, I'm not paying thirty dollars for it. I would have paid no. How much the assembly? I'm sorry, the assembly is twelve bucks. I would have paid twelve bucks for something like that, but I'm not paying thirty dollars for it. No, that's why I was on the fence about buying it. Now I download it. I'm not downloading for no thirty dollars, man. If I'm only gonna play it pretty much one time and that's it, come on. And that's why I think the sale is all about right now. Res must have, must have. I can't. I can't do the job. The, I can't do the game no justice. I mean, it is what it is on that. Get res. Um, if you into, if you played the first res, this time you can play it in virtual reality. If you played the first res, you know how you know how messed up you got when you, you transition to another level. Try playing this. Try playing in the shit. In, try playing in VR. Wow. Get that game. Plus, it has another uh, mode on that this time called Area X. Definitely check that out. That's pretty awesome, and it's it's great for VR. I mean, you can look at the ratings on this thing. I have it, and phew, maybe I upload game. But look at that. The ratings are five stars. Everybody gave this game like awesome. Uh, sometimes I put my own music on, probably in my headset, and I play it, and I just goes with it. And it's just it's awesome. It's awesome. Definitely, that's a must get. Uh, that's a must have if you have PlayStation. Job Simulator. A lot of people say they like this game. I haven't played it yet. I'm scared to pick it up because I'm scared I might not like it. You can see it, it remained at $30. Look at that. 116 people like it. Everybody loves this game. I haven't got it yet because I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. It's because everybody else likes something. I mean, I'm going to like it. Like PlayStation VR, you know, I mean, everybody, some people think PlayStation VR is like the best. I'm like... It's okay. It's a seven out, eight out of ten. I want to say seven point seven five out of ten, maybe eight out of ten with PlayStation VR. I'd give it an eight out of ten, a generous eight out of ten, because uh, the game is right now. You want to give me some other game? I'll get to that in a moment. <clears throat> I'll do my little synopsis. But uh, yeah, drop them later. Uh, I guess the must have. That's a game I haven't played, but. Uh, some people might like it. You know, I have to watch a couple of videos and see what it's all about, and I might pick it up, might not. I haven't played that. I haven't played this game. Got a couple of reviews out there. People got a couple of reviews about talking about I haven't played it. Odin Human. I actually liked that game. And I took it back because it got to a point where I got stuck, and I didn't know what the hell to do. <laughs> and I couldn't find FAQs for it. So I'm like, I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. So I just I just took it back. I was like, you know, but it is a fun game, and I'm pretty sure they probably got an FAQ out for it now somewhere. It is a fun. I liked it. The only thing I didn't like about it that it had click turning. Why? I don't think they had a mode to remove that unless they patched it up or something. But since then, but they didn't have a mode to remove click turning, uh, which sucked. I actually brought that out of GameStop. This game with GameStop. They didn't have a mode to remove click turning. And that sucked because this game was awesome, man. It was like, oh man, I'm you know, this is my like one of my first VR games. Second or third one, I'm mean, probably. And it was like, wow, this is nice. I liked it. I was immersed, you know. And but it got to some points where I didn't know what to do and so I got frustrated. So I took it back. I'm like, I can't do this. I took it back. But as immersion goes, it was it was nice, you know. Let's look how big this game is. Uh oh, only four gigs and big, but it was nice. I guess I I guess you stay at the same place maybe, I don't know. But it was a nice game. I liked it, you know. I just took it back because I didn't know what to do. Uh but I liked it though. It was nice. Um, here they lie. Um I haven't played but I heard a lot of people say it was a good game. Uh maybe if you get your PlayStation before the sale go over with. 
lot of people still said it was a good game. Um, and six gigs, six gigs, six point fourteen gigs big. Yeah, a lot of people said it was good. So I know just because the gigabytes are big doesn't mean it's a good game. But let me at least you know it's lengthy. You know, what I'm saying it's some structure there, something there. You know, that's what I look at. I haven't played Headmaster, and it's not on sale. So heard people say it was an okay game. I haven't played it. Uh, yeah, a lot of people gave it reviews and stuff. On a 1.79 gigs, big, but I haven't played it. Uh, PlayStation World's got a kind of a soccer game on the head game. You guys who have who got PlayStation Worlds know what I'm talking about. That game's pretty fun. I like that game on there. But Headmaster is not on there. On um, PlayStation Worlds, but the other game is on PlayStation Worlds. They pick up PlayStation Worlds. But uh, Hasuni Miku. No, I actually got this game. I went and purchased the game right here. I brought the I brought the well downloaded the demo. And, uh, oh no, I think my PlayStation is stuck. Oh, I had to quit out. Let's go back. I froze up. Let's see. But, um, now how silly Miku? It was a. <laughs> if you're into that type of thing, basically it's like J pop, I guess. Um, and it's in VR. Uh, it's in virtual reality. And it was fun. Uh, the graphics are nice. It was fun. I'm not in. And that's like I said, I want to go back to what I was saying at first. PlayStation, VR. VR in general make you play games that you would never play. Like you wouldn't see me play. <laughs> you wouldn't see. It's like it's like one of the things that you, it's hard for you to explain to your bros. It's like, bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what you doing playing this? It's like. Right, you would never see me playing a Hasini Miku Miku game. I never touched nothing, but I mean, when I played the demo, the demo's free, and I they, they hook, line, and sync you with the demo. And once you play the demo, you know, well, yeah, that's a lead through. Once you play the demo, it's like, okay, I can see myself playing it. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, even though I don't know what the f she's saying, I don't know what she's saying. What's she at? Ah, uh, there we go. I don't know what she's saying. That's the season pass. Yeah, here we go. I don't know what she's saying, but you know, it's kick ass, man. Maybe I upload a couple of videos, but but uh, yeah, I don't know what she's saying though, because I don't speak Japanese. But the crowd was hype. You got your earphones in. The crowd is hype. Everything's going, you know, perfect. And uh, yeah, I was in. There. I had my my move controllers. I was. Banging my move controls with the music, and I was going with it. And they'll be, it was like, oh man, this shit is crazy. So, I mean, you know, and I'm glad nobody was watching me. Because um, <laughs> if they would have heard what was coming through the TV screen, like, what the fuck are you playing? And it's like, bro, this shit is fun. I mean, you got motherfuckers all over you. It's, you know, and then it's just, it's a VR. And everybody, it feels like you're inside of a concert. So, Hasuni Miku, uh, I would say download the demo f first and see if you would like it. I liked it, so, yeah. Must get. That's a must get for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. And if you, and before we can move on, before, and if you get this game, <clears throat> if you get this game, if you do so good of a, on the game, you get to the encore stage. The encore stage is where uh, you get to, you know, she dances for you, you know, basically, for reward you for. I guess because as you banging your sticks, if you download this game, as you banging, you know, you do the motions that they tell you to do. If you do them correctly and stuff, you build up a meter. If you pay close attention on the side of the stage, you build up a meter. And once that meter fills all the way up, I guess if you did everything right, you get the Hasuna Miku dances for you and sings a song for you and stuff like that in VR. And that's fine. Like I said, the whole game is VR. So, yeah, you must have a head, a headset to play it and everything. So, uh, yeah, I liked it. And I'm, you know, <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, but that's, <laughs> I did, I liked it, it was fun, and uh, yeah, alright, <clears throat> excuse me, Gun Jack, now, I want to talk about the presentation of this game, and this, Gun Jack basically is like kind of an offshoot of, uh, it's only, it was only 10 bucks when I brought it. And like you say, another tech demo. Um, it was a, it was a, it was an okay tech demo. It was a tech demo. What I would say, 
Okay, so I'm I'm really into immersion. I'm really into like you know, like that. So when you first cut on Gunjack, I might upload some videos of this. When you first cut on Gunjack, the you you know you select it at that at that stage at that point, and you can look around and stuff. It feels like you're actually inside of a iron factory or some shit like that. It actually feels like that. Um. And that's that's what I'm talking about immersion. I'm like, wow. And they turned it's it's like you wanna get up out of your chair, out of your what have you, and just wanna go over there and look. Cause it's like wow. Let me tell you something about VR. In VR everything has volume to it. Like every single thing. Like if you look at something, if you see somebody like upload something on in VR and you see oh this look fat screen. No 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 no. Okay. So inside the heads of all VR headsets they, I guess it's, I don't know the technology, but basically it's it's like an optical illusion, but you wouldn't know, your brain won't notice. Your brain wouldn't know, oh, they stimulate the images so it can look VR, but it, they hit it dead on the head. Like, wow, this should look VR. This stuff looks real. And in Gunjack, they have, the, when you're selecting your stuff, you look around and stuff like, man, I really want to get up and go over there. Sometimes your, your mind, your body actually get up by itself. You're like, I need to get up and go over and see what the hell that is. But you realize, oh no, I can't go beyond the bounds of this because they didn't, you know, they didn't program me for me to do that <clears throat> on the game, so I can't do it. But the first thing to me is like amazing. Like that, the first uh, when you start selecting your missions you want to go on and stuff. So basically, you know, that's what it's basically a uh, a wave shooter, another shooter. So it's basically a wave shooter. And um, you shoot, uh, you shoot enemies, in a, and they sometimes they come out in a pattern. But it looks real. It looks great. It has that. It's it's an offshoot of Valkyrie, and the graphics on it are amazing. It's just you know it is a ten dollar game, and you are going to be pretty much in a gunship shooting stuff. But it looks amazing. Uh, it is worth the ten dollars um, just for the experience alone, just for you to load up into your gun jack and stuff, and it feels like you're actually inside there. I would pay ten dollars just to just to feel that. Just a you know, just a wow, you know. I <laughs> just just a, just a wow, man. I was you know, you know, but I ain't like how the way they can it kiss the feel. <laughs> but I would pay ten dollars just to see all those those images and stuff and stuff like that. That's 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 awesome. Uh, we got Ace Banana. Uh, I haven't played that. It's only five bucks, and people tell me suck ass. Uh, I'm not playing a game. Fuck that game. <laughs> As you can see. They, they have Ace Banana and, and Pixie later when we get up here. Ace Banana and Pixie is going to be in a bundle. Uh, so, yeah. Pixie is great. I like Pixie Gill. Battle Zone, that's a must get. That is like, I don't know if I should say number one on my list, but it's just damn sure in the top five of what I can think of right now. I would say number one. Battle Zone. Get Battle Zone. You into like explosions and you into like VR and you into like. Uh, challenge, yeah, battle zone. Basically, you're inside of a kind of a like, Tron-like tank. If you like Tron, <laughs> basically you're inside of a Tron-like tank, and or and I think they got add-ons now. And you make your tra tank look however, but it is fun, and it it's fun, it's fun. That's the also I can say. If you shoot, if you like blowing stuff up with tanks, now. Mind you, the graphics, everything go along the theme as how you see the, the tank on the cover art. Everything, why is it on sale? I don't know. I mean, would I want to pay $50? I, I, I don't know. I forgot how much I paid for this game. I think I paid about 40 Of course, it's not worth $50. It is worth the 40 bucks. I would pay, kind of pay 40 bucks. Kind of pay 40 bucks for Battlezone. I think I did, well, I did when I got it. I got it on disc. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. That is a must get. Get that game. You won't get it. It's fun. It's immersive. And I mean, that's the type of immersion I'm looking for. Uh, when it comes to action games like that. When it comes to action games, I want to feel like I'm in a tank. When I want to feel like I can make, trick my mind in thinking that I can actually reach out and grab the stick shift and push it forward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how real. That's what I like. And Battle, Battle Zone delivers. Um, and I, I think even though the headset sometimes get hot on your on your face and stuff like that, I still press the little button on the VR headset, make some air come in, or wipe it off and put it back on my face, keep on rolling. Uh, I mean, I like it. I like it. That's that thing. That game's fun. So I would say that was a must get. 
You must get again get battle zone. Um, I liked it. If you're into like blowing up stuff and shooting tanks and things like that, now it's 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 challenging. Um, they didn't put no punches when it came to it, but it's not a, it's not challenging enough that make you put it down. It's like uh, uh, but when I say challenging, I mean like I didn't I, I didn't I didn't download the update yet because they made it a bit easier on the update. I haven't done so I still got the vanilla game. I don't I don't have the updated more or less difficulty. But uh, even with the one I got, it was, it's still, you know, like, wow, I would definitely, even though I got, and I cheesed the game, I ain't gonna lie, I'll cheat. Yeah, I'm dude. They put a challenge as, so if you lose all your lives, which keeping life is, is challenging enough, uh, you know, you gotta be careful. Some missions are even timed. If some things happen between a certain place, before a certain time, like if you don't hack all the things before time over with, or if somebody beats you to it, you know, things like that first, they get to the checkpoint first without you destroying them all, you know, bam, you know, you lose, you lose. And then as you move, and like you basically you in the tank, and you, I guess you're on this board, the mischievous, I guess, you know, you're on this board basically as, as you move. The AI gets a bit stronger, and it, sometimes when it, when it gets all the way, this bar fills all the way up. A nemesis tank pops up on the um, I guess on the mission map or something like that, the mission field. And you know if he so the way you maneuver on the field, you go uh, space by space by space by space until you get to like the you know I guess the main the the AI core his his board. So basically, uh, as you move forward, the enemy gets strong unless you do certain things. <clears throat> unless you do certain things with the inside that board you're playing, sometimes. So sometimes you can hack a um, an AI power; it reduces their power. But if they bar fuel all the way up, a nemesis come on board. So now he sometimes he'll try to come get you. As he'll move once by you, move once by he'll move once by he'll move you move once by until he catches up with you. Uh, where he connects with you somehow because sometimes they'll start up, 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 above ahead of you and you still you know trying to go to the AI core beating board by board by board by board so anyway um, yeah man and those nemesis are, are rough they, they can two shot you uh, they can kill you in two shots uh, depending what type of tank you have uh, if you got a speed tank they can one shot you um, playing on normal it's this game is hard playing on easy mode. It takes a I ain't gonna say hard. It's hard as in challenge wise. It's a challenge playing on easy mode. So it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's 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 worth it. I was satisfied. I'm satisfied playing Battlezone. I play Battlezone. Uh, you know when I feel bored, down and out, I need to blow up some shit, shoot some shit. It's worth it. Play it. You love it. You like. It. Uh, Drive Club VR. Um, I actually have Drive Club. The only reason I'm really, I think I'm, I think I ain't traded in. I don't know if I traded in or not. The only reason I'm keeping Drive Club, um, uh, if I still have it, I have got to look through these games and see. If I'm reason I'm keeping it because it's a race car game and I can look at my cars in VR and I can, it's the only race car game I have in VR. Uh, and. Is it fun to play? If you played the first Drive Club, you can see how drab and boring it was. It, it was boring to me. The first Drive Club was boring. Um, this one is basically you in VR this time. Um, and it's fun. It's fun to extend, but the, it's the, the, the main focus of it is boring, basically. It's like, oh, get enough points and turning that curve right. Don't bump into nobody when you turn the curve right. You rack up points and Oh, you can unlock this car and stuff. That's not the selling point for me. The selling point is I can look inside the cars in VR. Like I can, you know, and when I do a replay, my character, like as I can switch the cameras and stuff like that, and I, I can see it in the right seat and look at my character drive and he'll be driving me on the replay. And that's freaking awesome. And I'm like, and the way I'll be driving this shit. And you look at the expression on his face and stuff and things like that. Like, yeah, yeah, man, watch that turn. It's like you play. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. But uh, <laughs> the replay uh, the replay mode on here is awesome. Uh, I like that. That you can drive. You can you can drive yourself in replay mode. 
you don't even have to drive. You can go outside the car like regular replays do. You can look all over the car and stuff. But that particular place where you can go in first person view and look over in your VR headset and you can see you driving as the replay going along, it's, that's freaking awesome. You basically can drive yourself doing the replay. That's pretty awesome. Um, would I get that game? Uh, I would get this game used. And I would get this game not for $40. I'd get it for like 20 bucks, Just to say, oh, I got a tight nice uh racing game in vr because you get the you get to see inside of a maserati you get to see inside uh i think they may have a mercedes you know, mclaren uh man you get to see inside like cars that i think are ashton martin or something on now i don't know uh you can see inside of them you get to look at them it's like wow this shit's tight you get to play uh new cars new type of concept cars that's pretty awesome but the gameplay itself is kind of boring, kind of drab. Um, and if you're into that thing, technicalities and stuff like that, then that'd be good for you. But I really kept the game because of VR, basically. I can look inside the car. I look inside the car, outside the car. I can, you know, I can do all those things and just admire the car. And, it, and, and that's why I kept it for. So, yeah. I might turn it back, but I don't want to get it because that's the only game I got in VR. That's a car, race car. So I don't want to get that up. <clears throat> so I might keep it. Don't buy this game. Cause I look. <clears throat> I'm giving some water. I've been talking for an hour and sixteen minutes. I think. Let's see. Um, sports VR. I didn't like it. I don't see no. I don't know how to even get online. The camera. You have to line your camera up right and stuff. It's one of the first games that came out, you know, one of the newer games before that came out when the PlayStation was launching, I guess. I don't like the fact that my camera don't line up right and I can't I can't I don't know how to shoot pool right with it, just I don't know. Don't get it. I wasted my money to get that game. And that's like the other reason I didn't get Carnival VR because I'm like, I wasted my money. Some people might have different things, I don't know. I just uh uh I I don't get that game. It's a waste of money in my opinion. Uh it does have the I guess the human aspect, you know, the people in the in the bar chilling and stuff. Like, yeah, that's nice, but it's drab and it's like ugh. I don't get that game. How seen it we already talked about that. Pixel Guild. Now the reason I brought this game because the when you shoot the game when you shoot the gun it sounds that would have me sold. When you shoot the gun, it sounds like a real gun to me. It's like, pow, pow, pow. And it's like fucked up. It's like, okay, you feel like you're shooting pixel people, pixel, you know, not say pixel people, pixel uh, skeletons and lit wolves or whatever. But you shoot them with like a somewhat of like a real gun because the gun sounds real like, pow, pow, pow. I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> you feel kind of demented. It's like, ah. Uh. I'm I'm fucking I'm I'm shooting these I'm fucking these people up with this gun and it's like oh man so basically you stand in one spot as a wave another shooter it's a wave shooter and uh, I think I brought it for like ten bucks is it worth the ten dollars oh excuse me is it worth the ten dollars if I think I brought it for ten dollars is it worth it um because <clears throat> you only for you only played three boards on there I just played three boards that's it so. Uh, yeah, so. Um, but yeah, I, I probably I liked it. I like it. I play it sometimes. Uh, my lo upload. Weeping Dawson and review of that. Uh, let's put a review. I don't, it's $4, four dollars, four bucks. Yeah. It's, it should be only worth four bucks for what I've seen of it. Tether, a lot of people are saying Tether was good. I didn't get it because they thought I wouldn't like it. Uh, seen a couple of reviews, Lord, and I don't want to play another game like that, so I didn't get it. Yeah, a lot of people say it was good and stuff. So don't let me or anyone just, if you look at some reviews and if you like it, then get it, you know. But I, it didn't appeal to my fans too much. Uh, Windlands. Um, if you're into, you know, zen like game, if you're into like want to be by yourself, you need to let the edge off. You need to go feel like you want to submerge yourself into like 
rock climbing or something like that. <laughs> didn't get it. I liked it. I would recommend this game if you like, if you want to see, if you want to, I don't know. This game kind of, I, I never played Nintendo. Well, put it like that. I wasn't a fan of Nintendo. So I never played it. I actually have a Wii U in my closet. I'm not a big fan of Nintendo, so I'm not, I don't know much about Zelda games or anything like that, but this game is like, I can imagine if Zelda was 3D, if Zelda was VR, then I can imagine this is how Zelda would probably look-ish Without all the, uh, you know, with all the windlands, I guess with all, with all the space between like the drops and stuff like that, it's a game. I would get it if it's not, it's it's more relaxed. So don't be expecting to like fight off monsters and stuff like that. You're not gonna be fighting off monsters. Uh, you're gonna be doing a lot of exploring and a lot of platform jumping and collecting. That's it. But it's re it's designed to be relaxing. It's not designed to be fighting off things you're not gonna it's, it's a relaxed game and it's fun it's, it's it's it takes the edge off it takes the edge off i like it it's fun um so yeah get that and plus they just added move control so you can move you can use your move control i haven't tried i did download that on the internet i did do have i did download the update um i liked it um i didn't play it yeah and i'll say i like i liked it i didn't play uh i didn't play with the move controls yet so, I'm going to have to pop it in. But I'm afraid that I might not like the move controls. That's why I haven't tested it out yet. But I'm going to I'm gonna test it out. I'll see about it. I'll test it out. I haven't brought that because I was disappointed with, with this game. So, I don't think I'm going to get that. Uh, get that. Get Hypervoid VR. I'm going to probably upload some videos of that. Probably. Uh, get Hypervoid VR. Get that. Get Hypervoid. So first you gotta buy Hypervoid, and it's like ten bucks. But that's it's it's on the regular PSN store. And, um, I actually have a game page to this. So if you select the add-on, uh, you select the add-on. Let's see. Yeah, there it goes. Game page, and you just go to the game page, and you can download the game first. Hypervoid. Download the game first. And then you go download the add-on. And yeah, that's it. And that game is fun, actually. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, and it's nice. The VR mode just takes, takes the cake. You will be immersed in that. So it's better than, in my opinion, some Polybius. We'll get to that in a minute. But I didn't like. I don't like Polybius because I don't want to have a seizure or trauma or something like that. So I didn't play Polybius. <laughs> So, yeah, fuck that game. But yeah, <laughs> definitely buy this game though. That's a must have, in my opinion. Hyper Void VR, get those VR levels. Oh my god, Genesis. It's a cute little game if you got like a uh, niece or little kid or something like that. Um, you got a child or something like that, and you want them to play PlayStation. Now, here's the thing. Now, from what I know, place people under 12 cannot play PlayStation PR. And it says that actually on uh, all the games, I think, it tells you that people under 12 cannot play PlayStation VR. See the PlayStation VR is not for use by children under the age of 12. So, uh, yeah. So I mean, but I mean, it's it's a it's if you if you have a girlfriend, she want to play like you know she thinking about having babies or something like that. Uh, get her this, <laughs> get her Genesis. Basically. You're like uh, a god or something like that, a, a divine something, and basically you must protect. Uh, one second here, you gotta protect these little things that's on this little planet. They have meteors come down. You gotta hold. It's just my mic. You gotta hold like your hand out to protect the people and stuff like that. Particular things you gotta do stuff for them. You gotta do a little test, and once you do all the tests for that particular planet. You can move on to next, and you can buy each planet. So I liked it. It was cool. I played it. It was cool. Like I said, PlayStation VR make you play games that you'd never play, but I liked it. It was fun. You know, you play. It got planets you can download. And the planets are like three bucks, I believe. And the planets you can download and stuff. Uh, and you play those planets. Haven't downloaded. I haven't. And that's a nice game. Haven't downloaded that. Uh, I'm not. I don't like. I'm not a Call of Duty guy. Uh, but from what I hear, people say this was pretty neat, and 
the reviews on this particular item here is yeah four thousand nine hundred two ratings I think that's just for Call of Duty game maybe it's for the Jack or so I don't know but download is free I didn't download it because you know like I said my internet and stuff so but I might download it I don't know I might give it a try I had this game Robinson the journey Robinson the journey I didn't like it because I got lost I did not say I got lost um I didn't like it because I got stuck at a certain point. I didn't know what else to do. You know, and going in, I kind of knew that. I kind of knew they were going to do that to us. Because people was playing, complaining like, okay, you'll finish something, but they won't tell you what else next to do. And that way they fell hard. Why developers do that? I mean, you should... I get it. They try... Some people... I don't know about developers, man. They they try too hard. You try too hard, man. You, you, you do. I mean, come on. Give us a break. I mean, we we're simple. We're human. We don't know what you plan to do with these games. I know, and I don't feel like. Don't get me wrong. The game was beautiful. I mean, if you get it for the graphics and stuff, it was okay. Sometimes the background, some things get blurry, but the game was beautiful though. I would say graphics. Why eight out of ten on graphics? Uh, maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe maybe nine out of ten. The big ass dinosaurs and stuff. Uh, the graphics are good. Um. It just I got lost and I didn't know what else to do and I was like, okay, I, I'm not, I can't find the FAQ for this, and I can't find the FAQ. The FAQ saying you gotta do this, but it's like, I did this, and <clears throat> I did this, and it's just I don't know, it's just taking too long to do stuff. So I just I'm like I just got tired of it. But um, the game itself, basically, you this person, you this boy, you got. On this Earth-like planet with dinosaurs, might as well call it Earth, with dinosaurs, and you're trying to find parts and stuff like that, and yeah, it's but they really don't tell you too much what to do. Wait, what's your next objective? You just it's like Nog or something, Galaga, whatever this game up here I'm about to get to. It's like that game. You like you got to tinker around with stuff, like static. You got to tinker around with stuff just to find out. To do, but it's like in those games, not bad. It's just with those games, at least they were simple enough to you know what you gotta do. It's common sense. Oh, I gotta click this button. That's gonna do that. With this game, it's like they, I guess, they try to sandbox it with little direction. A beautiful game with little, little direction. And it's like it's artsy, but it's not something I want to play. <laughs> and, and is it worth $50? No, it's worth like $15, in my opinion. Um, let's go with Eagle Flight. I had Eagle Flight. I turned it back in. I don't want to be a freaking bird all day. I can't land. I can't land. I don't look, look, look. And for forty dollars, I pretty much knew. I like I. I won't go be able to land in the street somewhere. But it's like I want to land in the street. I want to look around Paris. I want to walk and see things. I know they probably took up a lot of. No gigs to do that, but hell, I want to do that, man. As a bird, you know, and yeah, it's only three gigs big. Come on, man, give me something. Give me something I can look at. Give me um, I want to land on things. I know you can land on stuff on, but you can't. Some things you can't land on, and it's like what? It's basically a, a tech demo. I'm sorry to say it. It's a forty dollar tech demo. Demise. And I'll just call it what it is. That's it. It's like you, oh, I gotta race through this cave. It's like, no, I wanna freely and they I wanna freely walk and look at stuff. What is that? I knew I know the the Assassin's Creed's coming out where I think you control some type of eagle or some stuff. What is this? That's it? I think what the Assassin's Creed is gonna have a VR mode that I'm gonna be the eagle and guess what? The eagle from that sac that the Assassin's Creed was the was an ancestor of this eagle with eagle flight. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna do some shit like oh I don't know man this is huh I took it back it was a tech demo to me that was a tech tech demo it was no game come on how uh, seen move cool I want to get this game and I will pay twelve dollars for this game actually and I was actually I would pay if I'm not paying thirty dollars for something that people are saying like the graphics are good but it's like it should have just been an educational experience more than a game. Cause all you do is to do talks and you look up stuff, and it's not worth thirty dollars. 
So yeah, I will pay this much for this game. But uh, and it's a big game. You know, let's look at the how big it is. How the uh, <clears throat> that's how big it is. Here. It's eight gigs big, man. Eight point five nine gigs big. Uh, yeah. And so it's a lot there. It's just I don't know. Uh, less than like I told myself like I told you, like if they bring the if they bring the games down, at the I'm sorry the price down get thirsty and stuff. They bring the price down some of these games I would get them. But all these tech demos and stuff, I'm not getting them. <clears throat> not no, I'm not paying thirty dollars for a tech demo. And it's barely a game, no. So, and you might be saying, you know, you you saying a lot of stuff. You know, like Kodak, man, you saying a lot of stuff for a tech demo. You know, all these games are tech demo. But trust me, you play some of these games. It's like they're tech demos, man. These not real games. I haven't played this game now, and I think you need a peripheral for that. You need an actual bike, an actual mo bike to hook up to it. I think. So I haven't played these two games. People saying this game sucked. You can watch some reviews for that. I didn't get it. Uh, I haven't got this game. Basically, I think you have like a paddle or something, and you swap the ball back and forth. Ten dollars. Another tech demo. Another tech demo right here. I haven't played it, but from what I've seen the reviews and stuff, another tech demo. Tech demo. PlayStation. Uh, I'm sorry. Two uh, K VR uh, experience. Uh, NBA 2K VR experience. I haven't brought it. Brought it fourteen dollars. I ain't got the money for that, but broke, so I can't. I ain't get it. But from the views I seen, you shoot off stuff. You shoot stuff off of a uh, with a basketball. You sh with your hands. I guess you use the move controllers. Uh, I didn't get it. Probably can read up on it online or something. I hate to be the bad. I just didn't get it. I just was seeing what other people already did review on, so I didn't get that. I got Hollow Ball. I like that game, but the whole thing about this game here, you need a lot of space. Um, and I, this thing, people on on the PlayStation Store gave it, didn't give it uh, good reviews. You know, oh, they did actually. Oops, I thought they gave them bad reviews. So anyway, did I? Anyway, I like this game. Uh, this game is actually fun. Uh, had I had a bigger room, I had a bigger room with stuff, I could hit the ball like, and it, because this game, like these newer games, I guess, some of these games on here, they need, uh, you need, like, you need your account to be centered, and you, you need to be a certain place. Like, some of these games, like Battle Zone, you don't really need to be a certain place. You, you do gotta kind of be in front of the camera. Of course, the camera gotta be facing you. But you don't have to be directly facing you at a certain point because your feet have to be a certain place and things like that. It's like, oh. <sighs> and, and and with Hollow Ball, that's what happens. You got to be at a certain place and stuff. Like, it's like, ugh. But you can move around and stuff and you can try to hit the ball and it's pretty awesome. I don't know about the music too much, but the what, is it worth the purchase? If you, play, if you got a PlayStation VR and PlayStation 4 in your room, if you if no, I don't know if it's just in your room. Like my camera and my TV is like maybe six feet in front of me, maybe eight feet in front of me. Uh, and you need more space than that to actually, in my opinion, from what I see. Cause I tried it. And I'm sitting right here on my bed right here, and I'm trying to play. Uh, you know, I'd be trying to play the game, but it's like I gotta be lined up at a certain place. It's like oh, uh, and now I see that with a a lot of the new the new um the games that came out, you know, early. You have to be and like now. Some of the games you don't have to be a certain place. Like, Rank Speaking of which, I would Hollow Ball. If you got a nice open space to play this, because you will be betting. And trust me, you need a you need a big. Let me just go back to this. You need a big space to play this game because it's like a tennis game somewhat. It's you need a huge space to play this. I don't know if you can be really. I, I think they even recommend that you stand up on this game. I'm not. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, you need a lot of space to play this game. This hollow ball space. It's like that game, you know, that you always wanted. Where you can bat the stuff and stuff like that. So you need a lot of space when you play hollow ball. And I mean a lot of space. Because I think you got to be standing up and you can play tennis, basically. So you need at least 30 or 40 feet of wide open space. Nothing around you. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. You, you need space to play this game. Trust me. 
just watch some people play it online and you'll see what I'm talking about. But I purchased it and I liked it. You know, even though I didn't have space, but I made good what I can do with it. And um, I liked it. Let's see here. Uh, pinball. I actually have pinball. Uh, I have both of those. And they nice. Um, I might have to re-download mine, though, because, like, I guess when I downloaded the Season Pass update, it's some type of glitch or something. Well, I, if I turn my head, the game first freezes, and then it quits. Like, what? But the pinball game itself is awesome. It looks like a regular... It looks awesome. Like, if... All right, put you like this. You might say, oh, put you like this. If you like pinball, then get this game. Because uh, it's going to actually feel and look like you're playing actual real pinball. Like the game mechanics of things actually real. Uh, real in the sense that it's going to actually feel like you're playing pinball. Like the ball, ball looks real. You know, it looks real. And it behaves like a real ball. They got the mechanics and graphics down just right they got the physics down just right and if comes all comes together it's like wow it's it feels real like wow i'm as i'm actually playing pinball here so it's like i'm right now as i'm talking to you i'm twirling my hands like i'm clicking a freaking pinball uh flipper on the side of a pinball machine because it feels real the, the experience was real and that's what i like about games like that the experience the experience was real so yeah yeah get that game uh if you're into pinball of course get that game uh, you have fun with that game for a lot. Uh, you be sitting down and your head down, be focusing, playing pinball, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, get that game. I'm not exaggerating. I'm like I'm dead serious here. Get get that game if you like pinball. If you don't like pinball, like like say PlayStation VR games make you play games that you would never play. Like you wouldn't want to be a freaking farmer, but if they had a VR game as you being a farmer, like oh man, this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Picking potatoes in no time. But uh, yeah, get that. Uh, Gary the Gull, tech demo. It's free, but it's a tech demo. And what I mean by tech demo, of course, that I mean that it's it's lacking, and it's you'll see it when you play it you're gonna feel like this is a tech demo it's like oh this is a tech demo even though it's it's a, it's, it's no basically it's it's a it's a bird and he tries to it's funny kind of he tries to steal your what's kind of, but he it's like a episode it's kind of episode it's like a setting basically you're on the beach he comes in he flies in and he tried talking to you basically trying to make you look away I don't want to give away. I don't want to give away and stuff because it's actually funny. If you follow along everything, it's actually pretty funny. But it's, you know what I'm saying, this friend comes along. I don't want to give it away, but it's it's funny. Um, is it, you know, it's, it's free too. So download that. Uh, but then, like I said, tech demo, tech demo. Yeah, after said and done, it's like, okay, it was short. It was like 10 minutes long, and it feels like tech demo. But it's free, so you can't complain. How we soar? I want to get how we soar. Um, the thing about uh, I want to get it, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna like it because it might be too slow. I have Windlands, and if it's in the spirit of Windlands, then yeah, I might get it. I don't know. Basically, from what I know of, you on this, you're telling a story, and you have to collect these orbs. You you're flying on the back of a huge bird, and you have to collect these orbs and stuff, and you as you collect all the orbs, the story comes together, and then you move on to the next sto part of the story. But you find basically flying on a huge um, bird, and it's, it's pretty awesome. You're doing it in VR, and it, I'm, I'm, I can imagine it looks awesome. And I want to get it too, so uh, we might we'll see. We might get that. Uh, Crystal Riff, Crystal Riff. Um, I actually like Crystal Riff. I don't think I don't like about Crystal Riff though is that. One thing I don't like about <clears throat> Crystal Rift is that it um and it, it tells you right there that this is grid based. Basically, you're gonna be you don't move at your you move in a grid like you go up one space, back one space, but you move smoothly. Like you move everything. Uh, you move smoothly and stuff. And, and the great thing about Crystal Rift is you don't have, you don't need VR to play it. You can play it in two D. But it is grid based. Basically, you move side, forward, back, stuff like that. Um, you know, you move quickly, but you do move on a grid. Basically, you know, you move up one, up, up, 
up, back, 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 left, 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 right, right, right. You don't move smoothly. You know what I'm saying? You don't move diagonally. You move on a grid base thing. But it's move. You move just like you would walking regularly. But it's just just letting you know you do move on a grid. So what I'm telling you is that that you if you have an enemy in front of you, you won't be able to like move around him like in smooth and stuff. You you know you step back twice. One, two, left, left, right, right. It goes quick, but just let you know you do move on a grid but is it worth the buy yeah um definitely you basically exploring uh, a dark cave um this dark dungeon and they have 25 levels to this dungeon and each dungeon you go down more you go down uh, another level um <clears throat> so yeah it's worth it it's worth the buy uh definitely get that um uh, yeah, if you get in VR, definitely get that. It also have a 2D mode on it, so you don't have to play in VR. Or you play in VR, which I recommend you play in VR. Cause it's freaking awesome. Um, and yeah, you know, yeah, you you fight. It it only cost me twelve bucks. It might have a sale on it. I you see, I already purchased it. I don't know how much it costs now, but I only brought it for twelve bucks. So yeah, they go one of the planets on um, on my Genesis. You can buy. I haven't brought that plant yet, but uh, yeah, you buy one of the planets, do all the tests on that planet. You better beat that planet. I haven't brought Servant Simulator. I got the regular one. I don't have the ER version, and people been saying that it sucks. I don't know. I like the, I kind of like the regular Surgeon Simulator, but people been saying in VR mode it sucks. So I haven't played it. So Wolf Within. Uh, I want to get Wolves Within. But my internet's crappy. I I can't. I don't have good internet out here, so I can't get Wolves Within. Like if if I was to talk with people, I hear them coming in and out. You know, and it's like, ugh. So I want to get it, but I don't have to say much about this game. That it is a must buy. If you have good internet, you have internet. Um, because basically what you do is you. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Wolves Within, is, but if you don't know, basically what you do is you try to. Depends on what character you use. It's going to be like maybe a group of six of y'all, of other VR players, and y'all in this group sitting down at this campfire, what have you, and y'all trying to convince each other that one of y'all is not the wolf or kind of trying to convince people not to vote for you or if you, I think, a deviant, you're trying to convince people to, to vote for you. If you're a werewolf, and the reason you're not, other people are not going to be seen, you might see yourself as a werewolf, but other people are not going to see you as a werewolf. So you're trying to convince other people that I'm not a werewolf. and But you do this socially. Like, you do this through the mic through other actual live of people. Um, you know, you probably think of Deviant or whatever it is. I don't know. I haven't played it, but I've just seen videos, and it is hilarious. Because people are trying to lie and stuff. And be like, well, I'm the astrologer. Well, you ain't the astrologer because I know who's this such, such and such. And it's like, well, you know, you lying, so you must be something. It is fun. Get that. That's a must-buy. That's off the top must-buy. I haven't played it. I can't play it because uh, I'm afraid to get it because of my internet. <laughs> um, but uh, if you have internet, you know, consistent internet, what have you, then that's a must buy. That's a must have. Uh, perfect. I heard people say this game is poo. Uh, don't mess with it. <laughs> and that's what I heard people say. Uh, people, a lot of people like this game right here. I haven't played it, but basically, it has high ratings. Yeah, so a lot of people saying they even like that game. Uh, like I said, I haven't played it. So I think you like this spy. You're trying to, let's say you will die a lot, but it's fun. So I haven't played it. Probably look at some reviews of that. I haven't played it, but a lot of people seem to like it. So yeah, another download for Hasini Miku, uh, Future Live VR. I haven't played Fat City. Don't know really what that is. So I haven't touched it. Uh, Starship Disco. It's a fun game. Um, the novelty, it haven't really wore for me. If I get too bored enough and I feel like playing some Star Ship Disco, I'll play it because it is challenging. It's fun challenging. And I probably, you know, I probably recommend that. If you get bored or something like that, and you're into music, basically, it kind of moves with the beat. Um, you have a little, you, you play as a starship and you can use your controller as a, targeting radical and um oh no use i'm sorry you, you can use your controller or you can use your face 
and you press X uh, every time a spaceship comes your way, and it, it kind of goes with the beat, but you have multiple spaceships going with the beat, like dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Sometimes it won't be like dun, 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 but it'll go with the beat. So then it gets to a little bit more challenging as you go pres- progress more. Then you warp. The warps are kind of cool. Um, yeah. If you like, um, I just had a. If you like uh, pff, rhythmic kind of games like that, yeah, it's a fun little. It's a fun little ten dollar pickup. Uh, I can't see how much it costs right now because of the set. Uh, because I already purchased it, but it might be on sale. All these right here are just add-ons for uh, Battle Zone. You can make the tank look how you want to. You can buy a horn now, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I purchased the demo, but I have yet to download it. But from what I what I heard about it is that <clears throat> from what I heard that like the only virtual reality part, the three D part of it is uh, it's basically you know saying you riding the thing. You riding the roller coaster, but I think I think people was telling me everything else is in two D. I don't know. Maybe they told me wrong, but I don't know. I didn't get that. I download I downloaded the demo, but I didn't download because I didn't have enough. <clears throat> I didn't have enough space on uh, on my hard drive, so I couldn't uh, I couldn't play it. But I might have to re-download it once I get a chance to. Uh, more add-ons for um, Battle Zone, uh, Lethal. Haven't played it. I think people are saying this. Ugh, they didn't like Fruit Ninja. I like the Fruit Ninja. I brought, I brought it. Uh, I like Fruit Ninja. Um, if I need to release some stress, and like cut some watermelons open or something like that, Fruit Ninja in VR, yeah. yeah it's, it's worth the buy. I think I bought it for like 11 bucks or something like that. It's worth the buy. More add-ons for Battlezone. Lens. I don't have Lens. Uh, haven't played that. Heard that game was poo. Haven't played it. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Um, <clears throat> what can I say? Um, this game's. <laughs> oh boy, Resident Evil 7. I want to give a review on this game so so much. Uh, if you faint of heart, don't play this game in VR. Um, play this game in VR, but it, when I say this is, this is what PlayStation VR should be kind of made for if this game wasn't scary. They have jump scares on here, and they have creepy crawlies, and like I say, I'm a jerk kind of, I don't like looking at back, look like shit like that, and, and I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> but it's in virtual reality, and it is, it is with Resident Evil 7 graphics and this did is 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 like a triple A game basically uh in VR it has VR modes and you play the whole game in VR uh I mean the whole game in VR and I don't think I'm going to be playing I have it I have it has this game but I don't think I'm going to finish it because it's just too damn scary um I'm at a point when I'm, I guess I'm about to get to my first tar monster, quote unquote tar monster, the moldy mold thing. I don't think I can play that in VR. I don't want, I don't want that on my conscience. I don't want some moldy, big moldy thing in VR. I have to look at and shoot. Um, well, call me a pussy. I, I don't care. I can't, I can't know that. No, 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 no. That's, that's, that's wild. I would say, and a lot of people saying that they can't play the VR because it's that damn scary. Uh, in VR, and now in two D mode, yeah, I can shoot the shit out some. Well, they ain't shit, but when you put the shit in VR and like, and I have to go look at this in VR, <laughs> man, it's, it's something else. So I don't know. Uh, well, yeah, of course this is a this is a triple A game. This is, you know, it's just a shame. It's a scary game. I don't like scary games in VR, like. And that's another thing I noticed. Like games that you would play in 2D, no problem. I can play this in 2D, no problem. Sure. It's a, it's a game because it's, it's problem solving. It's not an experience. It's just you playing a video game. You playing a good video game is basically problem solving. If you, ever, if you ever looked at playing video games like that, that's basically what it is. But when you get into VR, it's a whole new level of gaming. It's not really gaming, though. It's an experience. Because now you have to use your hearing and your sight. You have to use two of your five senses here. 
maybe in touch because the control vibrates. Um, so you have to use three of your um your five senses. So now this is not just game no more. This is basically, you know, <laughs> this is virtual reality now. This is reality. And uh, wow, they did a hell of a game on this one. I would say that. And I would say, if you get, put your, create it, put it on your YouTube channel. Make a YouTube channel and play this. If you get placed in VR, play this uh, on your YouTube channel. Let's see if you can play the whole game through on VR. We're not, I know you might go and look at other people's response and stuff like that to this game. We're not bullshitting. We're not bull joking when we say, this game, you probably won't be able to play it all the way through in VR. Some people played it all the way through in VR. Kudos to them. Not I. I can't play this all in cop whatever. I mean, I could if I forced myself to, but I don't like jump scares like that. I don't like shooting creepy crawly moldy monsters. I don't like some of these things I don't want to experience in VR. Like I could play this in 2D, no fine, but in VR, shit though. No. <laughs> I can play this on a screen, no problem. Shit, anybody can play Resident Evil 7 on screen, on 2D screen, no problem. VR is a whole new monster, and I'm not even doing this game justice by telling you how scary this game is in VR. This game is, and I'm not hyperboling, I'm not, I'm being dead honest. This game is scary, and it is, I don't want to, I don't want to say no more. I just want you to go get the game. That's it. Get the game, play it in VR, and I told you so. Now, some people may, may be able to finish it in VR. I couldn't finish this in VR. I'm going to actually go turn that back in and wait to uh, <laughs> Skyrim to come out because I can't uh, I can't pre beat that in VR. Wow. That's why I say with my PlayStation VR games, I like the experience. That's a one hell of an experience that you don't want to go. That's it. That's a, I can't do the game justice by telling you how scary that thing is. Because you got to swim through it. Like, when you first go into the house and stuff, you got ro got bugs and roaches, bugs, insects all over the floor. You got some type of moldy stuff. And, then, and you ain't even get to the good part yet. You ain't get to the action part. It's just the whole environment. It's like, oh, my God. Who lives there? And, you know, the game is in Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. And it's built in Louisiana. And I'm... And I know places that look just like the when you first entered the game. I know places that look just like that. And it's like, it's hit too close to home. You know, Steph, when you get into the house, you know, it's like, okay, that's the new level of, wow, that's, that's, oh, God. Somebody, wow. So I know, I know what that, I know what that is. But it's, when we get to the point where it's like nasty and stuff, it's like, oh, that's a new level. <laughs> And I, but the outside, like the outside of the house and stuff, the floor and fauna, I can recognize that easily. I don't know where they shot it from, but I'm from that area. What I can, I, I see that on a daily basis. But man, that game is scary. Um, yeah, this game right here is scary. Uh, in VR, that is. But two D, yeah, you can beat the shit out of this in two D. Sure, you can play this on the screen. But in VR, oh my god, that's that's a new level. That's a new level. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Nah. Yeah, fuck that. Oh, <laughs> uh, Kygo, moving on. To Kygo, it's like, uh, this game here, this is an experience. It's basically a mu music video uh, in VR. But it's not like 3D video. It's not 3 It's not 3D. It's not 3D. 360 video, I'm sorry. It's not 360 video. It's an actual app. So it's like things around you and stuff like that. It's not a 360 video. It's an actual kind of game. It's just it's not really a game of experience because you can't play nothing. It's just you know, it's a game that you can't play. But it's a music video. It's it's a music game that you can't play. You just listen to the music and look around in your VR headset. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. I like. It. I enjoy that. Von disjuncting. Um, I think I had the first one. I had to. Download. I had to download. Get this one. I think it's just another app where you can look at videos. But you can. YouTube is the number one app. So I don't. I don't know what they're doing with all this junk stuff. I don't know. YouTube is basically the app that you need to download. I mean, look at. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at 360 video, and uh, VR video and things like that. That's the app you need. But this works too, I guess. Dex. I heard it's just another tech demo. Not because of the price. Just because I heard. 
Just simple things about it. It's another tech demo. Bound, as you can see, Bound, they got a demo if you want to try Bound and see if you like it. But um, I didn't like Bound. It's just the cameras and stuff. Uh, um, Dirt Plus Rally, I haven't played that. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to play it because I've seen the videos. Uh-oh. I got cut off here. Why wow, that just happened? I didn't press nothing. <clears throat> I've been talking for almost two hours. What the hell just happened? <clears throat> I'm gonna drink some water. I keep in mind, you know, um, like, you know, some of these games you might like. Like, I would do, i would probably go look at a video or something and, and see if you would like them. But some of them games, I just think they just tech demos, man. I'll just be honest. Now, they got a couple of games. I'll give you a good synopsis when I finish here. But some of these games are tech demos, especially them cheaper games. They're like tech demos. It's like, uh, they, the novelty, basically, the novelty wear off quick. And it's like, uh. I get it. In the first hour, it's gonna wear off. It's gonna like, okay. I get it. But uh, majority of the games are like that, and some people don't want to hear that, but that's true. Like Roman, this I haven't played. I played it one time. I haven't played it again because if I play it again, it's just gonna be the repeat of what I just played. But the game is fun though. It's, it's that situation that type of thing. like the game is fun, and it's replay ballot value. Maybe it is. I haven't went back and seen, but I ain't seen nothing. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, I haven't downloaded that. That's free. But uh, I don't know really know what that is. I have to download and see. People say stay away from this game. They don't like it. Uh, and now I have and then this right here. Um, basically, uh, Psychonauts. I haven't played the first Psychonauts. My nephew tells me that uh, it's a good game. A lot of people tell me actually it's a good game. And you can see the ratings on this particular game right here. Not Psychonauts, but the Rumblers Ruin. You know, which you played or downloaded, which is, everybody said it was good. It's four out of 598 people gave it, you know, ratings like that. It's, it was fun. I would say that. Uh, Rumblers, Rumblers of Ruin is fun but i don't know if it has a replayability once i played it one time i was finished with it, i was like oh okay that was actually pretty fun but uh, it was enjoyable but it was like uh so basically you play in vr and this time you get to i guess see the cask uh it's a click it's a click game you know what I'm saying you i guess you, you i don't know if you, i forgot what you use your i haven't played in a while you use your move controllers what have you and you teleport from one place you know you teleport from place to place to place and uh you solve pro puzzles and stuff like that so if you're into the psychonauts universe it'll probably be a good game for you uh and i think it directly tells what happened at the end of the first one i haven't seen the first one played the first one so you know marvels uh a vr adventure play this game it's a platformer game it's in vr i think it's a bit simple like i said i think the game is a bit simple uh, it's a bit simple. Uh, yeah, but it's a fun game. Would I buy it? Yeah, I don't know if it's on sale right now because of the sales going on. But would I buy it? Yeah, I'd probably buy it, buy it barely because they don't have another three D platforming game that I know of. So get it. It's fun. It's a fun VR game. Now I say get it, and I think it has a lot of uh, ratings. I know a lot of people say it's, um, it's a good game, so I, I played it. Yeah, five stars, 79 people. It's, it's, it's all right, it's fun. Is it, worth, is it worth buying? If you got a place in VR and for the selection they have right now, yeah, I get it. Because of the games they got right now. Uh, Darknet, that's my game. I like that game. Um, if you like puzzles, uh, if you're a puzzler, if you like puzzles, something like that, get the game. It's very fun. It's very it's it's not a big game at all. I think it's like three hundred and thirty six megs, but it's a puzzle. Yeah, three hundred and thirty nine megs. So yeah, get that game. Um it's a good game actually. Um and I like it. I like it. It's it's a good game. 
I might upload some videos. Unearthing Mars. Tech demo. Uh, <laughs> it's immersive. But it's simple. If you played it, then you, you see I'm going here. It's simple. Basically, you crash land on Mars. And the, the whole experience is immersive. Don't get me wrong. You got Now you got a human next to you and stuff. And, you know, it's Captain. And she does things, things like that. But... You don't really do too much. It's really just tech demo-ish type stuff. You just transport from place to place. You don't walk. You trans. You teleport. It's one of those teleporting games. Um, if you can call it a game, it is a game. And they, go, they do got a part on there where you got to shoot stuff. Those shoot those aliens. I guess you relive a past, the past life on. Um, and you have a flashback to how ancient Mars used to be and used to be ruled by this alien race. But it's it's kind of that part of that game, that chapter of the game, it's a chapter. And that chapter of the game, it doesn't quite fit in with the rest of the game, per se, because it, it the rest of the game you teleporting and you you kind of traveling, you exploring Mars and next I guess I guess y'all get hypnotized at this cave type thing. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Y'all, you go in, once y'all explore Mars, you find this cavern, I guess, and something happened as well as to you. I know, I guess you start hallucinating or something like that. And then, you know, you, you I don't know, You, I guess you go, you, you have to do this puzzle, and it's, it's kind of, uh, what the hell. But it's like, the story, that that's the premise. But the story, is that's what, what they don't start. But the game, it's it's beautiful. It's all right. Would I buy it? I don't know how much it costs right now. Earn Earth to Mars. If you want a tech demo, you want to see how Mars was. Now you want a little tech demo, then buy it. Um, but that's basically what it is, a tech demo. Uh, in my eyes. That's the way I perceive it, a tech demo. Uh, you see, a lot of games on here is like a lot of tech demos. I don't like, I don't like that. You know, I wish they have fuller games, you know, games that I can, and you do, you, you explore on Earth, on Earth to Mars, but it's like, it's tech demolish. That's the way I feel about it, you know. I'm not trying to get you review all these games, I'm just telling you how I feel about them. So, that's the premise thesis of kind of my video there, just showing you how I feel about all these games that I, that I purchase or know about. But, uh, as a review-wise, you, you know, basically that's it, uh, review that you Y'all going towards Mars, something happened on the second chapter, something happening, y'all crash land on Mars, and you, to, you know, you teleport from place to place, do a little puzzling, <clears throat> puzzling stuff. Once you figure that out, then you arrive at this cave, you hallucinate something, then you have hallucinations about previous Mars stuff, how Mars used to be, how it was ruled about. You do a little, one chapter, you're sh there's only one chapter that you do the shooting, the actual shooting in, and then next thing you know, your AI computer revives you and revives you and have you back on the ship and stuff, and it ends. So, I mean, you know, that's just the gist of it. That's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, tech demo. But I hate, I don't want people, when I say tech demo, people just get, you know, be like, oh, it's a tech demo, don't get it. I say get it if you like exploring and you want to see. What PlayStation VR can kind of do, but in my eyes, it was just a tech demo. In my eyes, you know, it's like uh, not to discourage you not to get it. It's like a uh, man, come on, man, Cyber uh, Dong and Ropper, uh, VR. This is free, but it's short, but it's free. Now, if you want to see what PlayStation VR could possibly do. They need to start doing some stuff like that. They need to make games like this. But even though it's just a trial demo, it's just free and stuff, they need to actually come out with a Dungeon Rapper um, game in VR. Because if they ever came out with a game, I'm buying that. Now, you, I wouldn't normally ever buy a Dungeon Rapper, however you, ever you pronounce that name. I would never buy that game. I would never buy that game. Uh, I would never buy it. But it's in VR, and I looked in, I seen the demo, I'm like, wow. They need to come out with something like that. Basically, it's Duncan Rapper. How do you pronounce that? If I'm pronouncing it right. <clears throat> Basically, 
you know, it's dead, but it's in VR. So do you see everyone around you and you see the words and you got to use your truth bullets to shoot down, you know, people words. And it's fun. Download that. And it's fun. And it's that's a must download. But it's short, though. And I wish it was better. You know, I wish it was longer. I wish we it was a real game. An actual full length game. I would actually buy that game. I would never buy that. And I've seen Dung and Ropper um, 1 and 2. I'd never buy that on PlayStation. I wouldn't buy it. Even though people say, you know, they buy it, but I'll never buy it. I don't like reading all day. Put that thing on a VR headset. I would buy that game because that game looks awesome in VR. So they need to really put their minds together to get that. Lady Less, you can watch a review on that. Basically, I heard it's like Flappy Birds. I never play Flappy Birds. No, like a game I'm very even even in VR I don't think I'd be interested in something like that so no um Dying Reborn uh, haven't played it people say this game sucks so I haven't played it I got Corix should never brought Corix I don't like Corix because at least I, unless I ain't get to a point where you have unlimited energy I wish I thought that you would have unlimited energy you don't have unlimited energy and it is a bit of a challenge but it's I don't like it. I re kind of regret buying it a bit because I rarely play it. I played it like a couple of days ago just to see if I, you know, some novelty to it. But it's like, ugh. So basically on Corex, you just, you're playing against the computer AI. You can play against, and it has multiplayer. I think it has online multiplayer too. Um, Basically, you're trying to whoever destroy their base, their base first. You get to build stuff leading up towards their base. The other your opponent's base and then you try to destroy it but I thought you have unlimited energy you have to use energy to build stuff but you don't have unlimited energy which I thought they would it's only when I brought Corex on 10 bucks it might be on sale right now I see I had to purchase things so I don't know if it's been purchased I don't not been purchased <laughs> I'm getting tired of talking I don't know uh, if it's on sale right now Faded the Silent Oath I want to get that game because it says the experience I want to get that might be tech demo-ish, but I still want to get it because they say it's more lean toward experience than gaming, which is something I might I like. That's why I'm into the experiences. And I don't like games too much because this is virtual reality, and this is not. You can't. Even, I don't know. I think VR most supposed to be geared more towards the experience than experiences than games. Like actual game, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be experiencing this. Like, wow. You know, it's like, wow, this 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 looks awesome. Like in VR games, like I say, in VR games, I <clears throat> I just I just looks at the um I just go exploring. Like in Windlands, I, I don't even try to go for all the arenas. I just go exploring and shit. And another in Resident Evil 7, I just go explore the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, this is awesome. You know. And that's that's what developers that's what y'all need to uh, start thinking to. Like, all right, this is VR. People want to explore in VR, and that's true. Some people want to play video games. They want to bust people head open video games in VR. That's great too. But there's a lot of us out here. We want to go exploring in VR. We want to see what the world can offer us in VR. Not really too much gameplay, but gameplay as in exploring, like experience, like wow. You gotta turn gameplay to experience, and that's basically what VR comes down to now. Very haven't played very. Uh, I've heard it's like some type of African safari thing that you get to watch videos and they get to come up to your face. Tech demo, so I don't know. I I I've seen reviews of it, but I I don't think something I'll get. Get this game, get this game, Battle Zone, and Moral Blitz. Get that game. Um, it's a shooter. But it's a it's a good shooter, man. You can use you use your move controllers, and you can once you I guess you put them in a groggy, you shoot them enough, and the enemy might start getting dizzy. You can grab them with your other move controller, bring them towards you, and but and just amp his ass up with bullets, and it is so rewarding. It feels so good. You get health off of it. It's awesome. Uh, and it's 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 fun. Definitely, that's a must buy. I don't really I can. Worst can't do too much justice to it. Just say get that game. If you're into shooters, if you're into like, you know, saying grabbing people with, I don't know, electrical stuff, whatever the hell they grab it with, that shit's awesome. And you play first person, but it's a first person shooter, but it's awesome. Uh, get that game. You can do combos with it. You can grab two people at one time. You can dish 
two or three people at one time, grab them all. It's not, I guess, Bullet Storm. I haven't played Bullet Storm, but I know you, I think you can grab people, but in Moral Blitz, you kind of slow down people and <laughs> slow down time and do, 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 do. And like you'll be in your chair, lean back, shoot like you jump through the air, some leaning back like stylish and stuff. It's freak, uh, freaking awesome. Uh, let's look at the reviews for that, man. That game is awesome. Uh, definitely get that. That is a must have for PlayStation VR. If you're into shooters, that is. That's a must have. Get that before any other shooters. That game's awesome. Star Blur Arena. I haven't played that, but I want to play it. But it is a shooter, but I want to play it. Here, here we go. Now we're getting to the part where we get to a lot of these shooters here. Shooter, um, basically, you I think you're in type of a spaceship or something like that. Not a spaceship, but you type of ship, your vessel, whatever, and you're shooting other people. I want to play it, but uh, another shooter. I am playing. I've seen the reviews of it. I'm like, this is another shooter. Not, not by, I'm tired of buying shooters. All they got on PlayStation VR right now is wave shooters and shit. I like, I'm tired of wave shooters. Think something else. Nobody just want to shoot. Look at another shooter. Another shooter. Wave shooter. They have shooters on this one. Or hero hero K. Her hero K alright. But it does have a shooters on them. I'm tired of these shooters. Give me something else there other than a shooter. Give me I don't know. Static. If you liked um if you like this game, I heard this game, static, it's like this game. Which I have this game right here. So I heard that you have to some dude is in the room with you just looking at you, observing you as you try to, I don't know, undo the little thing that's on your hand. Uh, like, I guess your PS, your PS PlayStation 4 controller is the box, and your hands are stuck inside the box. And basically, you're trying to click and do things so you can unlock the puzzle. It's pretty funny. Uh, that's pretty funny. But uh, I, I have this game, though. And it's, it's not, this game is not like this game. Basically, I'll get to the game in a minute. But, yeah. That might be something you might like, like. Haven't played this game, but I heard that something wrong with the camera angle or something like that, so I haven't got that. I want to play it. But if it's like um, the other games where I have to have my camera a certain place and it doesn't recognize my feet and all this other stuff, then I don't want to get it. You know, but I want to get it. These two games are bundled together. Only, only game I, did, I think is. I haven't played Ace Banana, but Pixel Gear, um, yeah. Uh, Nog. I guess that's how you pronounce it. That game, you can get it. Um, you know, you have a girlfriend, something like that. She might be interested in playing a little longer, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's a good game. Um, I liked it. <clears throat> I played it and stuff. So uh, basically, you, they not, they, you have this monster head, and you have to unlock. Now, it's the, the monster head itself is a puzzle. And you have to unlock... Like, they're not going to give you instruction. But it's fun because some things going to be kind of common sense. Like, oh, okay, I got to click this to make this happen, this happen, this happen. And once you have everything happening, the monster head comes to life. And he's like, well, well and the music kind of, uh, it kind of reminiscent. And I always refer back to Little Big Planet, but it kind of re reminiscent of that type of style of gameplay where everything, that type of style, you know, so everything is simple ish, kind of playful ish, kind of, I don't know, just kind of remind me of. Uh, Little Big Planet, but it's not a Little Big Planet gameplay. It's basically, I think you have like seven or eight heads you have to beat, I guess. But it's pretty fun. That's that game. Yeah, get that game right there. That game you should get. Never played that. I heard people say that was poop. Download this. This is freaking awesome. Um, we was living in Paris. Yeah, download that game. Not that game experience. Download this. That's awesome. And we fall down, down we da -da, together. All right, because this is the experience, and this how this is what I mean by experiences. <clears throat> like, make games, make things like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, even the chain smokers, and I mean the the ratings for that game for this experience. I want to kind of game. The rating for this experience is uh, it's freaking phenomenal. People love this. They like stuff like that, man. They they like yeah, two hundred something. What's called, man? People love that, uh, cause it was an actual experience, man. It's like oh man, that's neat. And if I can use my face to when I get to the end of that uh, that part of the um, I can use my face to go into this part of the earphones and then 
start to, you know, listen to music and I can interact with the environment and stuff and there's stuff blowing in my face and it's looking tight. It's awesome. Um people say that yeah, that's a definitely and I think it's free, I think. I think it's free. Um <clears throat> definitely I don't know about this game. Uh if if you hit seizures, like it's a lot of color flashing in this game. I haven't played it, not gonna play it. Uh, cause I don't even have seizures and stuff looking at color flashes, but I know not to play this game. Uh, but people say this game is hella fun and it's only, but I don't know the game. I don't, I don't know. I like, and it got five stars to it and it's only 171 gig on um, megabytes. So yeah, I mean, if you like that type of style of gameplay, like looking like that, but I heard it's fast and it's flashy with that type of. Uh, graphic style so it's I don't know it was I'm not trying to get no seizures here so I didn't download that but you can find reviews online people tell you how it is I just it's uh -uh. people say this suck tech demo and you see it's kind of funny everything is is ten dollars is a tech demo they got a lot of ten dollar games and most of all those are tech demos in my opinion so tech demo and plus they, they say this sucked um I never played that but uh go to Brian Paulson's uh, channel and he did a review and let's play that it's freaking awesome but uh, I want to get it I might get it we'll, we'll see definitely get this game um, you get to control the USS egregious, egregious. USS uh, I don't know how to pronounce that it's spelled E I'm sorry A-E-G-I-S Argus Argus whatever you get, you get control of the ship and you get four other, either computer control AI or you can go online with other people. And it's fun. Uh, definitely check out some videos for that. That's freaking awesome. That's a must have. If you have good internet and you like talking with people and you like to role play. See, that's what I'm talking about developers. Make games like that. Make games like Star Trek. Where it's not, that's an experience. Like, it's four of us. Real people. Not even just real people. If you don't have good internet like I do, you might have to go with the computer, which is suck. But hey. Hey, you know, make games like that. Make games where, you know, it's experience now. It's like four of us against the wild. You know what I'm saying? It's experience. It's a game, of course, but like, for instance, I have to use like the, 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 the what you call it? The engineer has to do one thing and the him have to do one thing. And the captain, he give command and tell us our next objective and, uh, what's the other guy? The tactician, I guess. The tactician person, she has to fire rockets and stuff like. That. Everybody has to work together, together, and all to for to him have to make the ship go. The uh, engineer, he has to give the correct power to the right system so they can do the right things. The tactician has to shoot stuff and the crew, and trans. Everybody can transport stuff and and the captain has to update to tell everybody what's going on and stuff. It's that's that's the experience. That's that's a good game. Yes, keep it coming with those games like that. Not even just online, because my, my online suck right now, but just experiences. You know, it's a great experience. It's like, wow, that's awesome. Now I can dig that. It's an experience. Um, and it's more, of a, it's more of an experience than game, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody interacting with each other. Everybody giving out things. We have to go do objectives. We have to do this and that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a step in the right, the right direction on that. Uh, Dick Wild, haven't played that. Uh, it's another shooter. So, you know, pfft. I guess you can say freaking Star Trek. Well, not really, but I don't classify Star I just classify Star Trek as a great game. When I say shooter, it's kind of being demeaning. It's like, when I say this is just another shooter, which is Dick Wild is another wave shooter. Well, for what I know of. Far Point. Um, no, Far Point is a good game, but if you have somewhat of a arachnophobia like I do, the spiders jump at you. So here's my promise. Now, now this is another good game. All right, it is worth the fifty dollars. I think it's this and the aim controller. Be fair, should be worth sixty dollars, not eighty, but sixty. But whatever. That's just my opinion. Here's the thing, though. With uh, Farpoint, is a real good game. Uh, Farpoint is a good game, um, but it has. The first, I don't want to give too much away. The first levels, I guess level, the levels, a couple of missions will happen. 
they got the spiders, man. They got the spiders on there. And it's like, um, I'm not really too keen. And then they not only just spider, they just jump, they just small little tick jumping spiders. They jump at your face. And like, come on, man. I mean, and, and here's the thing, like, they respawn. Like, I, I try, okay, because I have a bit of arachnophobia in VR. Now, if it, if it was 2D, yeah, I can shoot some spiders. I don't care if you jump in my face. It's not in my face. But in virtual reality, this is virtual reality. Like, this is, they jumping at your face. And it's like, oh, shit. And your brain is turned on. It's like, oh, shit. So, you know, you you, you just have to get through, man. But uh, the game, the game is awesome. Looks great. Um, it's just those spider things what I want to talk about. Uh, they jump at your face. And then if you take too much damage, like it has, oh, I hate this. I hate this in games. When they, I hate it when they start doing it. They put red health around your face. You know, the red, like I've been injured and now your faces have the red glow glare all around your face. How in the hell can I shoot shit when the red glare is around my face? And four points just takes a little bit of stuff. Now they have red glare all, you know, and then lit lines or whatever, what have you. I can't, how, what the hell, how am I shoot? I'm already scared half to death because spiders are jumping at me. Like actual real spiders. Like spiders the size of a fucking dog is jumping at my face. The size of a fucking Rottweiler is jumping at my face. Big ass spiders is jumping at my face. So I'm scared half to death already. Now you're going to make it if they hit me too much. And now you got this red glare around my, you know, around the helmet. And I can't see what the fuck I'm shooting at. And at first I freaked the fuck out. This is the first time. I threw my motherfucking controller, I threw my headset off my face. And thank God I didn't break my headset. Because I was scared half to death. I thought the motherfucker was eating me. He was not eating me. He, I was just injured real, real bad. And I'm like, oh, why would you do that? I'm already scared half to death of fright spiders. Now this, you know, it, you know, it's freaked me out. I threw my headset off. I was scared, man. I'm like, oh, fuck. And I threw it down. And I thank God I didn't break my headset. But boy, I was scared as all hell, man. Um, don't do that. Don't do that in VR. Don't do that in VR. You, you, 2D, sure. Do it on a flat screen. You know what I'm saying? Do it on a flat screen where I'm, no, I, I know I'm safe. It's a, it's a fucking video game. I'm safe. But in virtual reality, it's not really a video game. No, it's an experience now. You put this dead in my face and you got me surrounded in this world. So, and it's real. Like, it looks real. My brain cannot turn off any, and you can, None VR users. Y'all can go and Google some stuff. Y'all can go Google, see that your brain won't turn off. It won't. It won't say, "Hey, this is fake, Lewis." You know, saying, "This is fake. Don't do this." You know, this this is fake. No, 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 no. Your brain doesn't turn off. Your brain. Oh shit, this shit is real. Oh my god. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> and now you have this big hairy ass spider, the side of a fucking rock wall, jumping in my face. And now I can't shoot shit because my face is all with the red glare. I hate it when video games start implementing that. Why would you put that in that? Especially if I'm a shooter. If I'm in the first person mode, how in the hell, how do you expect me to shoot stuff when I can't barely see the half of the screen because it's infected it's with red stuff very well? Sure, I'm injured, but hell, have me a little meter that tells me that I'm injured. You know, don't, don't do that. <laughs> you know, um... Yeah, that's my little gripe about Far Point. Um, yeah, if I'm injured, don't fill up the whole screen with red. Well, no shit, I'm injured. I, how about, you know, you don't have to hinder my vision at the same time. You know, and scare the... I thought the motherfucker was eating me because the red everywhere. I thought he was eating me or some shit. It was just me injured, and I couldn't barely see what the hell I was shooting at. So, you know, it's like, why would you... you know, don't do that. And plus, it's virtual reality. Don't scare me half to death. Here's another thing. Why would you put spiders inside of Far Point? Come on. What what would you trying to do? Up to Annie? I mean, Resident Evil style? I mean, what you was trying to do here? You know, I mean, have me some humanoids or have me something I can shoot that's not too scary. You know, uh, that's my gripe about Far Point. That's what made me stop in a sense. I tried to pick it back up a couple of days ago. I tried to pick up back Far Point. And, um, yeah, I couldn't do it, man. I was like, oh, shit, this shit is too scary. It got to, well, I was trying to shoot, but the spiders kept fucking respawning. Like, they wouldn't die. They were, as long, as long as I kept shooting, I don't have the aim controller, which is terrible. Why should, anyway, 
As long as I kept shooting at the damn spider. Now, you can use your PlayStation 4 controller as a... Don't do that. Use the aim controller. It's so much better. And... But anyway, the spiders keep responding. And I'm like, oh, this sucks, man. You know, I'm going to get in. I'm already half scared to have the death because the spiders... They'll crawl, they'll crawl underground, and then they'll pop up, and then they'll freeze like they, you know, all eight of their legs, they'll freeze, and then they'll jump at you. And it's like, oh my God, and it's like, they everywhere, and they kept responding, so I couldn't get to the bigger spider. And I'm like, I'm trying to stay way back and pick them off, but they just kept coming. And they'll force you back. They'll come in rows, they'll, they'll come in so many, so many times, because you can't shoot all of them, you know what I'm saying? So you have to go all the way back to way, way safe space. Then they you know where they just kept responding. I'm like, okay, I can't do this. And then they got this big ass hairy spider that's the size of a car, a small car that you gotta kill him. Call him you know, you gotta kill him. You can't run past him. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh you can run. I guess you could technically run past, but you know. But yeah, man, come on. I ruined the experience though. I don't do that. I don't do that no more developers. Just don't when I can't see now, don't, don't get me wrong. All my bitches are moaning and complaining. Far Point is a good game. Pick it up. If you got arachnophobia, don't don't, don't try it. If you try to conquer your fear of arachnophobia, I don't think that's a good game for you. Because they're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming. And it's like, ugh. But it's a good game. Don't make my... I'm just... At that point, my little rant right there, I was just nitpicking. Things I didn't like about Far Point. Other than that, it's a beautiful game. I never made it past the spider part. I'm still in the early stages of the game because I can't. I'm scared, man. I'm, I'm like I can't do it. Now, if it was two D screen, now you might be saying, "Hey, you know, what the heck, man? Why, why you just won't shoot them and stuff?" It's like, dude, you know this stuff, man, bro. This it's scary, man. And they just keep coming, and they, you know, of course you're not gonna go run, bum rush the big spider, the one that's the size of a small car. And there are a lot of those. It's like, ugh. Bugs and stuff. I don't know. Scary as all hell. Uh, let's move on. Before Point is a good game. I recommend it. Um, get it. If you got arachnophobia, just know what you get into. Because that first part is full of spiders and stuff. Spider enemies. So, get it. Oof, get into it. Uh, I, I don't know what to take. I don't know what to say, man. That That's just scary. But, uh, and you know, I just want to go back. Maybe my rant was kind of wrong, but it just is what I felt about some of the things in Farpoint. The first thing, I can't get back because I got arachnophobia. I can't get past it. So it's kind of messed up. But I'm going I'm to try it again someday. If I ain't traded in for something else, I'm going to try it again one day. But, uh, pff, you know, it's what it is, man. <laughs> It's a good, it's a it's a good game though. It's a it's an A rated game. So yeah, it's not a tech demo. No tech demo though. You know, it's on it's on comparison with um, Star Trek as in present presentation. I guess Star Trek is not a well. It's on with tech, I guess. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's an A rated game. It's a good game. It's a game. So yeah, but it's just that part. It's just don't do that to me. Don't scare the hell out of me. Don't put it where I can't see where I'm shooting because I'm injured. Just put me a little bar or something. Show me, hey, you don't got this much health left. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, I get it. So, you know, I can back way, but don't put it like I can't see and I can't shoot nothing because the screen, my mask is full of red stuff. And I'm thinking it's full of crawly, veiny type of red stuff. And I'm thinking the freaking spider eat me. I threw my damn headset off. I almost broke my headset. But that shit was scary as hell. If I had a video of that, I probably would have posted that, man. Because that was, that was scary as all hell. Um... Yeah, maybe one day I'll do that. I'll just try to... That'll be the challenge. It'll be, you know, Lewis's challenge of trying to beat Farpoint. <laughs> that game was scary, man. Uh, moving on to Ancient Obulator. Uh, this, this game, this is the demo right here. Demo is uh, pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. If you like... Uh, you get to use your move controllers, and they, it's some fun ways you can move them, use them, I'm sorry. Uh, fun ways you can use them, it's just, uh, <clears throat> I heard it's kind of short. Is it tech demo? It makes it ways out of tech demo, but it's just a fun game from what I hear. I haven't got the full game, I don't play the demo. But the demo's fun. 
the demo is free, so you download the demo and you see what you get into. But yeah, it's fun. Um, you get to use your move controllers. You get to select from four characters. I heard, but only, only two on the demo. And um, yeah, they got they both. All characters are different from each other, from what I heard. And you know, you can go to town and whoop some enemies, man. And try to defend your own um, your crystals and stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. You're playing VR, and it's free. So yeah. Just checking the Tekken Seven. I'm disappointed. Well, I wasn't disappointed. I already knew. I knew. I, I, I'm see my thing about. I'm see my thing about Tekken Seven. I kind of knew that Tekken um, Seven for v, VR mode Tekken Seven was gonna be lacking. I knew it. I knew it. I just knew it was gonna be lacking. But nobody wanted to believe me. I t I told everyone. I'm like, man, I'm not buying Tekken Seven for no VR. Uh. Come to find out, it's like one of the VR worst VR things ever. Why they? It's almost it's say, why would you even put VR mode in here in Tekken Seven? That don't even make sense. Unless you're coming out with some type of patch or some of this stuff. Unless people viewing this in the future and they came out with a patch that I don't know about. For right now, living in the present right now, uh, this game sucks. Uh, VR mode wise, Tekken Seven is a wonderful game. I haven't played it, but from what I see on in tournaments and stuff, it's a good damn good game. So, damn good game for Tekken. VR mode sucks. That's what I heard. So, why would you even put VR mode in Tekken 7? It's beyond me, so I don't know. Special Delivery. I haven't played that game. Um, you know, uh, Brian Paulson, he has a uh, review. He talks about the game and things like that. I haven't played it. Uh, don't know if I'm going to play it. It's, a, it's nine, ten dollars might be another tech demo, so I don't know, you know. As you can see, all those $10 games are more than likely they take demos. And I think tech demo, they, they, when I say maybe a tech demo, they're interested in it first, and then the novelty wears off. And it's like, quickly. It's only 10 bucks, so I can't talk shit about the game. But just know what you get into. It's not repetitive fun. Maybe, but I don't know. I haven't played it, so I don't know. Um, now, we get into the game. My last game I played since, um, would be Chess Ultra, which I got some videos on, uh, on my other channel uh, on Kodak Cam. So, yeah, if you're into chess, you like chess, you want to learn how to play. If you want to learn how to play chess, if you don't, if you don't know how to play chess at all, you can play this game on VR or 2D. You don't, you don't need a VR headset to play this game, which is awesome. Uh, if you got a VR headset, I heard. That uh, you can use your move controllers to pick up pieces and place them down. That's pretty awesome. So I haven't tried that yet, but I heard that that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, if you are nobody and you just want to know how to play chess, that's what exactly what happened to me. I just want to learn how to play chess. Um, so I picked up the game, and I don't regret my decision. I know how to kind of play chess. I know how to play chess. I won my first match ever in a chess game ever ever. So that was awesome, uh, but uh, yeah, definitely buy if you're interested in chess. Uh, the online mode of this is kind of lacking. I don't know. It might be maybe because I was up late at night. I don't know. I didn't have many matches. I didn't have no matches. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm scared to go online and play against people. I knew I'd get my ass whooped, but there's going to be a lot of videos of me getting my ass whooped on chess, which is not too bad. Maybe I'll win a game one day. I don't know. I, I'm going to... When I get my chess skills up just a little bit, I'm going to try to go on there with a bit of confidence and go on there. So, yeah. But, yeah, if you're no one, don't know how to play chess at all, but always want to learn how to play chess, buy this game. Simple as that. You don't even need PlayStation VR to buy this game. It's, it's available 2D. So, you can just play this without a PlayStation VR. Uh, buy this game. Um, Now, these are the rest of these games that I haven't brought yet. I can, I'm going to download some of these. This is free, but I heard uh, <laughs> uh, tech demo. From what I'm hearing about it and what I see about it, it's just, it's just another tech demo probably. It's nothing special. It's free. So, yeah, you know, it's a tech demo. Basically, I guess you learn how to parachute as a uh, infantry guy. Um, so, yeah, tech demo. It's free, so. Can't say too much. Ten dollars. Haven't played it yet. 
So maybe I'll look at some videos of people playing it. And probably if it convinces me to play it, I'll play it. This is free. I haven't played it yet. So might buy this. Might buy this. If I go online and we have some shooters and I'll have some competition like that. Shooters at night. Might buy this. Um, people been saying some stuff about this game. Uh, say 10%, it's on sale too, so say 10%. People been saying some stuff about this game here. Um, I heard it was, you know, not good. Some people want to bust head in VR. I don't, I just want to experience, bro. I want the experiences of, I just want the experiences of, of you know, just a regular experience. I don't really want the game to my, because I, like I say, when I when I have a, like a sandbox game in VR or something like that, I just really go exploring. I don't even really play the game. I just really be exploring stuff. Uh, it make like I said, VR make you do things that you know. On a two D game, okay, else you problem 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 solving. But on um, hell on on a you know on a on a two D on a two D game like on a, just on a regular TV, if you're just playing a game on regular TV. You know, you're just going to be problem solving. You're just playing a video game. I'm figuring out how to beat this thing. Playing a video game. VR headsets, VR is different. Now you're experiencing stuff. You're experiencing, oh, man, this is so beautiful. Oh, man, I can do this with this. Oh, I never want, I always want to do this. Oh, man, this shit is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. You know, you, you get wild. You're like, oh, man, I'm going to make a campfire right here. I don't know if Minecraft has VR. I think it does. But yeah, you you're in the world of Minecraft basically. I think it should. So, but yeah, you, that's what I said. If, when y'all you know, via get a headset. It's it's worth it. It might also, yeah, but those are those that wouldn't distract you from actually playing the game and stuff like that. It's just matter inconceivable that you might know it's like oh the headset get a little hot sometimes. Not hot enough that you're gonna throw it off the face. But you're like man, whew, you know. But you. <laughs> Yeah, like that. You know, it's not something that's gonna throw you away or not not buy you. No, know, you're gonna wanna buy a place in VR regardless. You're gonna buy, you're gonna make sure I know I don't explain how much I like mine. Mine's cool, but you know, yeah. But it's just some of the things some some gripes I had, uh yeah, you know, things like that. But not everything I'm not simply human. I don't really know everything, but I just know some of the gripes, some things I probably had. I just know those. I can't wait till this come out. And this come out. This come out. I might play it. I might not. I liked it. I had the first film. I traded it back in uh, for something else. But I just think I got stuck in a port. And I ain't, I ain't know what to do. Because I'll, I'll, all right. So I don't like help sometimes. I'm, I'm very independent. I don't like help sometimes. I wouldn't mind it. But, you know, help on video games, things like that. You know, I, I like to figure it out for myself. You know what I'm saying, and I feel like using a a, a guy that's cheating. Uh, but it got if we get to a point where I have to, I have to go get a game. I have to go get a guy. I feel like oh, and then I and I once I get out, you that sinking that feeling. You like oh, I could just gonna figure that out. Or you get the other feeling like why the hell would they put that there? That don't even make sense to put that there. How ain't anybody gonna find that? I like to figure it out for myself sometimes. And a lot of my games that I get to a point where I can't figure it out myself, it's like, okay. And I then I can't find a guide for it. That's just make that's a double whammy. But it's you know, and that's just how I feel about certain things. So but Elder Scrolls, if this is a full length game, then no, that's not gonna be a return. If it's if it's if it's actual VR that is. People talking about Fallout 4. Might as well go and say the name Fallout 4 VR. Is, we, is, is, is I'm thinking it's going to come to PlayStation 4? Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. That's it. Prove me wrong. I think they're both, both are the same developers, is they? It's Bethesda, Bethesda. I don't know who developed this game. I know Bethesda. Well, how do you pronounce that name? Yeah, so they both developed the same game. So, prove me wrong. Um, cause we all everybody wants this to come out in VR. We want the full length, and it is a sixty dollar game. So yeah, prove me wrong. I want. I never played Fallout, and I held off playing Fallout in Elder Scrolls. So I never played Elder Scrolls in my life. 
only thing I did see a speed run of Marvel win. That's the only thing close I ever came to some type of Elder Scrolls material. Seen the old speed run of Marvel win. Other than that, no. Don't know what I'm getting into, so. It's gonna be my first time playing Skyrim, my first time playing Fallout. So, yeah. But other than that, yeah, I just wanted to rant. Felt cool. Two hours, three hours. About the game, the store so thus far, what I played and what I think about it and stuff, so. Yeah, man. Um, y'all have any questions or comments, just leave them at the bottom or, you know. Check out my gameplay footage, footage or videos and things like that. Or, but <clears throat> Other than that, man, you know, yeah, that's it. I just ran through all the stuff, all the material. That's 179 things on here. So, but, uh, man, yeah, I just, if I continue my rant, man, I just, I just wish they, uh, I just wish they made, I don't know, better games, man. I want some fully game. I know PlayStation VR is an add-on. I know PlayStation VR is an add-on to PlayStation 4. I know that. But, come on, show us some love. That E3 stuff was very lackluster to me. Uh, I think about two or three of those games are not going to be full-length games. I think about two or three of those games that they had out in VR, uh, at, uh, E3, I think uh, oh, they got more Diablo. Yeah. I think they're going to be tech demos. <laughs> I'm just straight up honest. I think they're going to be tech demos. I don't think they're going to be like full length games. Some of them might be. I think about two or three of those they announced. They announced about five of them or something like that. I don't know. But two or three of those is going to be like, uh, I think some of those games are going to be just another tech demo. Another $15 game. Uh, nothing full length. So that's what we want. We really don't have a full link game. The only full link games that I can think of that we have a PlayStation VR is Resident Seven, Resident Evil Seven, which is both VR and 2D, both VR and you know regular PlayStation rather, and uh, Fallout. I mean not Fallout, Fallout Point. Shit, I'm just speaking for this long. Fallout Point. Uh, did I just say that right? Fallout Point. Far point, far point. I ran out of water. I got a little bit more left. Far point. So, far point. Battle zone is okay. I guess you could count that as a little game. Uh, I can't really think of anything. I know I'm probably missing something. Valkyrie, um, which kind is another kind of full length game. Matter of fact, the C4 length games actually just go to price and high. Kind of look at it. Yeah, so. Not many. Fall Point. That's not full. What's kind of. Oh, yeah, Robinson the Journey. At one point in time, this was full VR. This, I guess you want to quote unquote full length game, I guess. This right here, that's a game. So we don't have too many full feature length games. This is the this one, this one. You can count them on your hand. I guess this one can count. That's one okay. But everything else is kind of below the pale, sort of. Except for some of the good games on here. But we're talking full length, like you know, full campaign. I'm talking like a for you know, forty hours or fifty hours, you know, whatever how long full feature link games are, you know. So we want games like that for PlayStation VR. I wish we had games like that. I wish, I wish they wouldn't more toward experiences than games. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking on my head now because I've been talking for two two hours and forty minutes or something like that. So, but uh, yeah, man. Just here's hoping to better games, better, better tech, man. No more tech demos, please, for the love. Don't just no more tech demos. Whatever you do, don't give us no more tech demos. We 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 done. I mean, PlayStation VR came out October thirteenth last year. That's almost what nine ten months ago. Please, no more tech demos. We want some full length games now. Now you just soaked up all our money with these tech demos. We want some full of feature length games. Uh yeah, so you know, just my opinion. So 
And I'm, a lot of people feel the same way. So, well. all right, man. Let's call that Kells. I'm signing off. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. Uh, peace.